Alrighty, hello everyone. Chris T here, and S Horse at SD70 back on run eight again. Uh, tonight will be the CSX Z343, which is actually the M A and N. That's the uh, Mohawk Mohawk Adirondack and Northern's uh, Rome job. That's just their CSX symbol. Um, we get two run eight Western Jeeps for power tonight because that's just what we use to simulate them. Um, Looks like the work order tonight. We got a few cars to work here at Rome. Actually, I'm going to bring up the depots map so you guys can see all this. We are actually right here, right now, at the M A and N runaround. Um, we have to go up and work all of these industries tonight: Savina, Mascoma, Alwire Steel, American Alloy Steel, and J and G Lumber, and I think Revere Copper and Brass too. Is R C B in there? Yes, it is. It's all in there. Um, so we got to work all of these industries at Rome, and then we need to pop down onto the CSX main line and go down to CP235 and then um, we have to go down uh, into the yard to, to uh, drop off our outbound cars and it's actually showing four orders to pick up and bring back uh, and that should probably make our night right there so we got probably a couple hours worth of work up here at Rome just to get started with um, so we're gonna go ahead and get these fired up. I'll get these edges fired up and then I'll pop into TeamSpeak where I think Mike Hewn and Ryan Moretti are already in there. So, actually, what's that noise? No. Oh. The Q254. So. All right, let's go ahead and pop in here. Sorry, Jared, my vacation was good. Uh, was down at the Outer Banks. I uh, had solid, uh, what, seven days down there? Solid week. So, had a real good time. It was a real good trip. Um, I'm going to pop in here and make sure everything is okay. Air set. Let's go ahead and get a release real quick here. Oops. I'm rusty. I haven't played in a while. To run, as you can see, what we got right here not a big train 1550 on the feet, though. Problem is, it won't fit. Kick that to run, it doesn't fit in any sidings. So, I think what I'm gonna have to do just to give you guys an overview of the work I have to do, um, these cars back here, these S, this, these tank cars, these are for um, uh, Sylvana. And then there's two covered hoppers back here go to Mascoma. So I think I'm going to cut away, pull these down in the clear of this switch, and then cut away and set these over. And then grab these cars and then take them up to the actual yard. And then run around them and then work these industries and then come back and work and then grab these cars and then work the rest of them. So just because I have, I got too many cars and there's no room. So... So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pop into TeamSpeak here because I'm sure Mike and Ryan are waiting on me. I stayed at uh, at OBX. I stayed down at Rodanthe. Or Rodanth, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I guess. Uh, really nice trip. It was really, it was really good. A whole week off, actually a week and a half off from work and didn't have to do anything and it was pretty easy. 
Well, look who it is. Hola. How you doing, buddy? Good, and you? Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna pull these down here, and we, I know we don't have old engines, but we got an old horn. Using the old Cast P5. So. Now, why is one of them an idol? Oh. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll just drop these down a little bit. What are you guys running? I be a dispatcher today. Oh. Gotta make it interesting for you. And Ryan is just pondering his thoughts of what to run. That's true. So what are you, Mike? You're the ND dispatcher. Uh, I'm everything. Uh, every, both CSX desks and Amtrak side. Okay. Uh, I mean, on my end down here, is that what they call the ND dispatcher? Uh, actually, that's NC, because uh, I've been doing a little research, and NC actually has it all the way to 263, and then west of 263, it's actually NF. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, I need to put these down here, not up here. What am I thinking? Huh. Like, does NI control uh, SK? Uh, uh, I think so. And I had the river sub, that's about all I know. Uh, should have an EMD bell on that, Connor. I use, a, I use a GE bell for the GEs, and then I have a, a EMD bells for those. Okay, so we'll tie these down here. And cut away. Actually, what I could do is this. This is 945 feet. This would fit. I might try to figure out if I'm going to do this right. If I'm going to goof myself up here. I haven't worked this job in a long time. I'm going to fly up to the yard up here real quick because there's a, there's a yard up here. Um, um, which is like their main yard. And what I might do is I might take these cars that I don't need right away up here, whoops, and then set them in. Now, see, there's already outbound cars in here because I think if I read the map right now, yeah, see, now I'm not going to have room to run around anything because this track's full. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Um, because this is what nine hundred and fifty-four feet, nine hundred forty-five feet. That track's nine eighty, but there's outbounds up there on track one. If you're new to this, I talk out. I talk to myself when I do these, like you know, a lot. Uh, well, I might be able to put those Savannah cars in here against these. 
run around it, then grab these and work it. I might be able to do that. That might be doable. And then when I come out, I'll have these cars will be on the right end to work with. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. No guts, no glory. Let's try that. So we'll just shove these back to the clear. Whoa, why's the air on? Oh, hold up. That's weird. I don't know why the air was applied. Huh. There, yeah, try again. The air keeps applying. When I release the independent, the air is applying. Now that's not... Now I have the reverser centered, the air has released. When I put the reverser down, the air... What? Alright, hang on, hang on. Let's just do this real quick. Make an application. Rail driver might need a calibration, that's weird. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a sign on the SD40s there, Connor. That might be a nice little touch. Okay, so let's go ahead and release the automatic, nice and hard, so that it comes all the way down. That's really weird. I don't know what that's all about. Independent release. When I bring the reverse, there's something weird going on. All right, hang on, hang on. What on earth? Okay, yeah, there's something weird. Okay, hang on here. <laughs> Uh, calibrate and test. So let's see here, reverser. Let's just calibrate the release. So right there. Okay. This is. Set. Set. Okay. All right. Let's see if that helped. Oh man, what a good old, so, like I say, I, if you watch these regularly, you know this is a fly-by-night operation. There we go! Okay, that seems to have worked. To, we're going to gamble here and see how this goes. Chris, you should put that on all your videos, like on your YouTube captions and everything. The official fly-by-night operation run eight. Oh, every every time I do one of these, there's always some little thing goes wrong. I gotta like calibrate something or change something or close it out and come every time it wouldn't be a stream without it oh, that's good in the clear there
they're the air they're applied again. Come on. There we go. Fighting that all night. Low flounder. That was awfully hot. There, there, there it comes. I could do that, Connor. Could do that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna be fighting this all night now. I don't. Put this. This will be interesting to say the least. See, then when I release the independent, I'm still getting some air in the cylinder too. Here, what? I gotta release this here. Get it stopped here. Knock air back. It wasn't releasing all the way either. It was going to like two. Yeah, see, there's one. So let me uh, real quick here. So we'll set this back to like this. So that should show it as set. Okay. So now when I... Yeah, that should give me a full release every time. Okay. Now we just got to watch this. <sighs> got to watch the reservoir there and make sure it's it stays released. So. What's up, Dex? It's weird how it does that sometimes. It's like, last time I played, I didn't have any problems with it. Now, after being undone for a little while, I've got issues. <laughs> now, I've got to pump this up. I might grab my thumbnail real quick. Good a time as any to do. Got that nice evening sun. Okay, so I've run around it now. I got the cars where I'm hoping um, they'll be best suited.
Okay, got it all charged up, and uh, I guess we'll take it out toward uh, toward the yard at Rome. We all lined up. Yep. All right, let's head up that way. Don't have a marker on. Really, don't need one for this. When we go out on the main line, we will. So, alrighty. to uh, talk to someone about that Connor and see uh, if they could make one up for me like that. I'm not real great at the reskinning. I can do the I can do the horns and the bells and stuff pretty well, but uh, the repaints I'm like kind of really sketchy with. I, I know my limitations on that stuff. So across the bridge. That would be a better idea. Ooh, barely got it. Let's see how those turn out. crossing here so we can hear that sweet P5. How far is the run up here? Not that far. Okay. Yeah, this might work out pretty good, I think. Let's see what happens. You gonna come run something there, Harrison? Yeah, I might run like 49, maybe. Alright. It's about his time. There's one on the main line back here. Wherever you want to spawn it, I'm gonna okay, do it. Copy that. I'll bring four four. I'll bring the four forty nine into the server as well. Hey. Just be aware, I got sixty coming west, so keep an eye out. Sixty coming west. Sixty three. Ah, oh, the Canadians got it. Ah, uh, the uh, Niagara Falls. That's correct. I'm about to make close the Now, if you notice, it's actually kind of built here. The crossing lights, or the bells, have shut off. Thank you to Zach. Uh, let's see. He's in the chat. I can't remember his name. Zach, ZH22, for the... Uh, Bell's mod, so shout out there. Uh, he's He made a special file to where it plays till the gate goes down. Or if it had gates, it would go down. And then the bell shuts off like most road crossings do. So. That sounds sweet. What you really couldn't hear there, but. Because this crossing has such a late delay. No such thing as a sweet P5. I don't know, Dave. I'm, I'm a Conrail guy, but I do enjoy a, a good P5. Hello, Hagen. 
So we should clear the circuit. The light should go out. Or the, yeah, and then the cars go, and there's no more bells. Let me jump ahead here and make sure it's all lined up, and it is. All right, so what we'll do, a brief overview of what I'm doing here to keep everybody abreast. These cars here, between the covered hopper and the center beam, uh, this MAS and these SOV cars are going to be worked up here at the other end of the yard. Yeah, I wonder why the game just randomly changes their sounds every now and then. I've never had that happen. My, my engine sounds are all messed up, my horns are all messed up, it's just unreal. I had to change my rail driver settings one time. Like after I played Train Sim World and then I came back to run 8, all of the all the key binds on the rail driver were goofed up. Interesting. Yeah, I was not expecting that. It took me like a good like, you know, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes to get all straightened back out after figuring out what the hell happened. Huh. And then, so anyway, these cars here from the yeah, I had uh, the electric bell on this 45, and I'm like, oh, can't have that. These cars have to go over to there. So we're going to put these in here and leave them, and then try to run around these, and we'll hope, it, hope that it works. <laughs> if not, I've made a terrible boo-boo. I'm going to line my headroom up here. I'm going to pretend like I have a... A jitney with me, and I can make these moves. Put the headlight down. Actually, I'm gonna stand on this side so I can see the cars coming. I'm trying to be on the sun side, but not always applicable. And ultimately what I can do is I can tie these cars into that cut there and then run around this cut, don't mind that, and then <laughs> work it from this end and then everything will be outbounds anyway so it'll all kind of work out in the end. So. By that cut. Oh well. I'm not sure that great rule. Brandon E. Set the air here. Do it a little more professionally this time. I do enjoy a good RS3L. I really do. I also enjoy bad RS3L. I pretty much does not matter to me how well it is. Uh, let's see here. So if I'm going to work this end, handbrakes on this end. We'll close. Whoops. This angle cock. And we'll open this one on this end. That way it'll be set up when I go to depart. Okay, let's make our cut. Ride it out. All of these should be facing in there, right? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, we'll have plenty of room up here to work. I like how this stuff's never straightforward. It's the, the tr it's every everything's blocked right. It's all blocked properly, but you got to make room and you got to make cuts and stuff like that. You know, it's a lot of times you just Unit. you walk in and nothing's set up right. Hello. Which is fine. Does this 957? If I run it down, does the power stay down there, like with the loads, or it comes back for more? I believe when you go down there, normally when you go down there with cars uh, and you come to the plant, it, the power stays there. Now, once the, you're done unloading everything and there's a ton of empties down there, uh, then you come back and uh, you, bring all the, you bring the empties back to Selkirk. And if you got time to take more down at a tent, take another cut down the Hudson. He's bled. Let's see. All right. They might just have a hand. I'm gonna leave them bled. I'm just gonna knock the handbrakes off. They should be bled, I think. Yeah, I don't hear him squealing. So I should just do it the way I'm gonna do it then. All right, never mind. Yeah, we'll have right. near here. We'll see if we got enough room to do this move. We might. It'd be tight. If this wasn't an 80, what, 80, 89 foot high cube, 87 foot high cube, whatever the hell them cars are, we might, <laughs> we might have had a chance. <laughs> oh, it's going to be tight. It is going to be tight, tight, tight. Mm. This is all downhill, too. Oh, full Indy. Yeah, where are we at? Little more. Little more. Being in the clear is kind of relative in this game. It depends on what you consider in the clear. Now in the real world, this would be. My ass would be fired. <laughs> Those are not in the clear by any stretch of the imagination. Um. Alright, I'm going to close this up real quick, and I'm going to close this end up. Handbrakes here real quick. Um, this might be open. It is. So we'll go ahead and wang this open here. This should dump it. Yep, okay. Alrighty, cool. Slack on the pin. Not much. Come on, cart! Chris, as long as you rip, don't rip anything off into the clear. That's the way I look at it. And here, we'll do just to see how close they come. I'll ride this side of the engine here. 86 foot, yeah, it's probably 86 feet. Thank you, Connor. Let's see just how close it came. <laughs> it's close. I see we're downhill here. I'm in idle, no air, and it's, it's drifting down. All right, so this is going to work out nicely. This is, the map shows this siding is uh, 871 feet, so I think I have 871 feet of cars in here. Oh, that's plenty of room. That was plenty of room, Chris. 
plenty of room. I got a couple feet to spare down here on this end against the high cube. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that. B957 and I is badger. set this up for later since I'm down here already. And now I'm going to change ends because I'm going to be working from here, so... Oh, let's see. CB957, you calling him? Right, yeah, B957, uh, so, two engines, head down service. to Hunt. Cut in, cut out. Taking anything down or are you just light power? Light power, just two engines and uh, PTC equipped and active. That's unfortunate. Roger, uh, 957 light. On a, re uh, on a release? I can see you on the board there, uh, off the north of Parker lead there. Roger. Real quick, I'm going to set Parker this up short light trail. Roger. That's right, here we go. Short lead, run, run. Oh, okay, everything's all good. All right, do a quick air test on the gauges. So let's see, hopefully this works out. Usually it never does on the first try. Oh yeah, that's one thing, Connor. I'm glad you mentioned that. On these Run 8 GP40s, if you've never had a chance to look at them, because they're not in a real scheme, they've got funky stickers on them. Like this is, whoa, and, uh, whoa there, big fella. Uh, this is GP40-2. Uh, there's bad. St oh boy, there's bad stuff in here. Poor blimey. You don't need to know. Um, no way. Oh, well, uh, good bolt no there. way. <laughs> right along. So. Roger. They have, they do have a sense of humor. That's what's funny about it. They do. Okay, so we'll get a full release on the independent here, which is the red needle. Uh, your automatic application. See if the independent moves. Usually it never does on the first worthy. try. Oh, worthy. it does. Who just came in? Oh. Mr. Mosell himself. How you doing there, it, Mikey? It, it's the creator. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Peachy. Okay, so we got a good application there. We'll bail off and bail the independent. All right, good bail. Further application of the automatic. Whoa! Further application of the automatic. I keep I keep forgetting what Mark's done to these sound sets. I can never remember, like what all what cool things are in them and so on and all this and that and. Um. All right, getting a good further reduction on the release of the automatic. Independent application. And independent release. Okay, good test. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knuckle into these cars. Did I throw the switch? I did. Okay. Now, in the real world, this would be an absolute nightmare scenario because I'm going to stop short so I can show you guys exactly how bad this would be. Maybe not so much bad, but annoying. Like, you see how these knuckles line up here? You, This may not even work. You may not even, because you could get in here and push against this drawbar and this knuckle to move it back to try to line this up. But because of the curvature of this track, I don't even think you could get this drawbar over far enough to knuckle. It would be really tough to do. But with the magic of run eight and hit boxes and bounding boxes, it just does it. <laughs> so you got a little uh, suspension of disbelief there. Uh, all righty, so we're going to ride this back. 49, go ahead over. Yeah, 49, coming up to 114, looking for that signal. All right, so we have the so signal on occasion north of the Savannah cars north, go, or Savina, depending on how you want to, how fancy you want to be. Can I actually ride these first of all? Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna shove these back. First thing is gonna be Savannah because that's these tank cars here. It's gonna be nine in, one out. So, actually, oh wait a second, I never cut the air in. First down the 
jump. Oh, I'm good, AJ. Thank you. Um, new location is great. Um, I don't know. Just nice being in our own house. Something I own and we, it's our space, you know. So, uh, but it's been really nice so far. Um, just a quaint little home. Internet's a little better here, too, since I've wired up. <laughs> I have no frames dropped. Boston section not run with the baggage anymore? No. Okay, all right, pumped up. At least knock the handbrakes off. I saw on a YouTube video about a month ago. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Seems to be only be the New York section that get the baggage car only. Yeah. Oop, you got a bad switch against me here. Now, I'm not going to protect this crossing up here. I'll probably just blow the horn like normal because I'd be here all night stopping to protect crossings and stuff, so. I'll take a little liberties with what I've got. We have a dispatcher tonight. Yes, sir. What's your pleasure tonight, Mikey? What's uh what's on your mind? What are you what are you looking to run? Well, I ran quite a bit earlier. I was looking at this patch, but uh, I'll take over the 162 that I had over there at Oneida to, uh, let's say, 4848 the leader. Q162 is the name of the train. Roger that. Also, I have to make sure that we're going around the engine house down here, too. Having not really been up here much. Just give it some toots. Uh, we have to go to the right. Oh, it's already lined up. If you go to the left up here, all right, we must be going downhill now. Uh, you go back to the M A N N's engine house. So, but someone has dutifully left the switches line for the the main route, I guess, whatever you want to call it, normal or whatever. So. I'm blowing a horn because I like this P5. Wish I remember where I got it from, what I made it off of. Any word? Any new routes with the new update? The, um, I guess the latest, if you want to call it an update slash rumor slash leak, is that a screenshot was leaked from V3, which is uh, in beta. Right now, it's out for beta testing, so that's actually a good sign. But there was a screenshot leaked and and. So, and I'm not going to be sharing it in my yes, disc XNF dispatcher call the Q162 to lead engine number four. My Discord or anything, but uh, yeah, there was a screenshot leaked. It looked like Dawner Pass, which has been a really poorly kept secret for a while. Q162. So, good. That's about it. Q162, let me know when you guys are ready. I do have one coming east. Uh, and if you are ready, I'll get you going after him over. Okay, we'll give you a jingle here on the tone, and uh, when we're good and ready, we'll wait for one. Roger. NFL. But in terms of run eight and, and F3, that's uh, uh, that's really all I know. Uh, there's not much more to it than that. We're just all waiting, for the most part. <laughs> Patiently waiting. And a lot of us are getting frustrated, And but it's, you know, it is what it is, and there's nothing to do about it, so you just keep playing V2, and you enjoy it. 
and you just try to find new stuff to keep it fresh for yourself. And you know, a lot of people are working on skins and textures and sounds and things just keeping the game fresh. Uh, um, there's a guy in one Discord. He's in was in the chat here. Or maybe I don't know if it was Dex. If that was you, but someone was working on a like winter texture for Mojave's ground, and then someone, which actually might have been Dex, was doing winter locomotive textures where they look like they're covered in snow. So, so you know, people are doing their best to keep it fresh, and uh, so far it's kind of working, I guess, for the most part. We're gonna pick these hoppers up too on the way back. What's there? There should be two here. Two, yeah. Two in, two out. Right now we're gonna be coming up to Sylvana, and it's gonna be nine in, one out. So. I'm actually kind of curious if I can get Ayn in here. And I broke an I-57 page. Let's switch up here. What did you do? Well, I'll change the stats on the train and I put location as Selkirk, because like, I thought it was like location, like where I started from, and then I clicked save, and then when local was completed that, I was like, uh-oh, so I tied it down, tried to recrew it, and now I get an error. Oh. I put Selkirk, but then it also showed up as three dots, so I don't know. Okay, we'll keep it coming. I'll hop down here, run ahead. Let me see if I can do it on the other version here. Let me see if I can. I think I can put these in both tracks here. Oh, I can't all three tracks. So we'll fill, we'll pull this car, and then fill these two tracks, and then go over and work MAS. So. Hello, Ryan. Glad you guys are here. I'm seeing a ton of people saying they're hey, glad they caught a stream. Dispatcher over. <laughs> so, glad to see so many new names and, and, and stuff. Awesome to have you guys here tonight. And I've answered the 162 over. Cars going to Boston. Yeah, we're all set to here, here to go at the Oneida siding at CP. 63 looking ahead eastbound. Uh, we got the CSXT 4848. 35, 47 on the footage, 2.4 the HPT. And we are 46 by 0. And no PTC tonight. Roger, all good information. Uh, a signal indication when it comes up for you. Okay, we're going to go east on the signal red. indication at 263. Okay. Thank you, NFL. Uh, Q162 out. Roger, NFL. Going to give it the beans to get out of here. Everything's all... Everything's all bound up in the curves and stuff. Hello, Scott. I did just cross 1,500 subscribers the other day. I'm thinking I'm up to 1,510, so a big thanks to everybody who subscribes and shows up and likes the trains. It's pretty much what it's all about. Though I did pick up Dead by Daylight on sale on Steam the other day, so me and my wife are going to start a Dead by Daylight series. So for those of you who enjoy horror games... And stuff like that. We're gonna I'm gonna mix it up a little bit because it's like I've fallen in love with that game since my wife got me into it, so I know everybody here likes the trains, but I wanna do something different. So Alright, we'll tuck this car in here and then fill these two tracks. Hopefully. Yeah, we might be able to. Let's get this in the clear real quick here. So I'm going to do something special on my Discord. I'm hoping to, for the 1,500 subscriber mark, I'd like to do a giveaway or something. I saw someone doing a giveaway once, and uh, they had a pretty neat method of doing it. So 
eventually when I get around to it. I will do that. Clear here. Let's see if I can send you guys an invite link to the. Let's see, I remember how this works. I'll invite members. Create a link. Copied. Real quick. Again, more of this fly-by-night thing. There's a link to my Discord. Uh, like I tell every time I post it, it's not fancy. It's just a lot of the times, which I didn't even do today because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to stream, but I'll usually post a day at least a day in advance. Sometimes it's the day of, depending on my schedule and if I'm tired and how I feel, so on and so forth. Um, I'll post in there when I'm going to stream and usually where, what server I'll stream on, so um so but it's nothing fancy like some discord servers it's just it's not it just isn't i just thought it was a nice way to get my community all together in the same place and so and this is brutal back in here jeez it's the grade and the curves or what it does not want to roll in here the max this industry can handle. I'm kind of curious now. You have three tracks to do stuff in here. Oh, showing the max is 13. So. I'm trying to get these in here to the end of the track. One, two, three, four. I got five in here comfortably. So I should be able to get four in here pretty easily too. Apply these. Yeah, this one's out to five. So. 216, engine number CS1640. Medium clear signal siding, domain, east direction, CP1263 out. Come on, car. Come on! <laughs> How many times are you gonna ride the wrong car, dude? <laughs> Welcome, Ein. If I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry if I'm not. As someone with a, a devastatingly hard to pronounce last name, I apologize. Right, ride this back. Hudson line 49 over. 49 Hudson, Hudson Hudson over. All right, well, right in for one station there for your uh, chop off your dual mode and then uh, swing the Chicago section or Boston section over there. Over. Ooh. Okay, and for platform one, cut away to dual mode engine and uh, grab the 44 nines power, which is 40 nines power, and then double it over to the that's a roger. Right, we'll grab my outbound car. 
right? Hey, Uni. Go ahead. Ah, uh, I don't know if my train's still rolling. My whole computer is literally frozen, except somehow I can still talk to you. All right, let me take a look. I, I have the independent on, and it still says I'm doing 41 miles per hour, which has been like that for a minute and a half, so I have no idea where I am. Yes, I do want to do D-Rail Valley again. I really do. I got it. I've got... Do you have control of it? I do. Uh, all right. I want to do D-Rail Valley again. I need to do American Truck Simulator because there's... Uh, Wyoming came out, and it looks fantastic. Every, everything's I don't, not working except can you speak, so I don't know what's going on right now. I don't try to restart the sim. I can't even do it. The sim's frozen. My god, the OC's frozen from the pose I was making. That that's frozen. I don't know. Guess you gotta do a whole reboot or something. Yeah, I think we're just killing the switch and just stealing it all over again. Roger, I'm recycling the breakers. Um, but I got yeah, and I don't have Wyoming yet, and I probably will end up picking it up. But then there's other games I want to do too because there's like I've been watching. <laughs> A favorite streamer of mine, uh, his name's Dre. He used to be Whenever called Dre you get Gas. Whenever you there, Moretti, uh, your power is gonna be on mile post four. I recommend it. He was playing lawn mowing simulator, power washing simulator. Those games all looked like a lot of fun, so I want to get in on those eventually. So, I have a ton of stuff to play right now. Okay, so we picked up this car. I'm gonna do the paperwork real quick. Nine delivered. One picked up. All right. Okay, let's go up here and work Moss. What is that? Not Moss, with that Moscoma. Chris, did you just say lawn mowing simulator? Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool game too. It is a thing. Wow. Hey, do whatever makes you happy, I guess. Yeah. Every time I mention it to somebody, they just ask me, why don't I just mow my own lawn? Right? User exactly. In time doubt. They don't understand. <laughs> so these cars are now... Oh, they're still back here a little bit, so... Why that could be virtual reality, so that way you can actually feel like you're actually mowing your own lawn. <laughs> and, and drink beer with it, so you're like drinking your beer while you're mowing your virtual lawn. <laughs> like real yeah. life king of the, it's like a virtual king of the hill. Pretty much. It is. <laughs> yeah. Da 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 Down, 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 down. Drop down here, gotta leave room for two cars. I'm gonna probably kick these in here, so actually I'll stop back. So open rails is free now. It's not I mean, well I guess it now I guess it was free when I picked it up too. But I've always had MSTS for like for years and years, so I guess that makes sense. And it will be free now. Yeah, see, I like D-Rail Valley because it's like, it's a good way for me to get my train fixed without like dedicating. Because like this this whole thing here to work this whole local. Now, because I'm streaming, I do it. Um, um, uh, I kind of do it more by the book. When I'm by myself, I take more shortcuts. So. But, I mean, this could take, this will probably take me four or five hours to probably do all this. Um, I'll tie this down real quick. Cut it away. Eh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll dump it. Oh, okay. These tank cars, they're killing me. So, but Dero Val, you can pop in and do something real quick and, um, you know, this and that. You don't have to dedicate 
several hours to it or whatever. It's kind of it's a good way to get your train fixed if you just want to do something with trains. That's run eight paints. I got I got tons of different paint in here. It's just it's all over the place. Not everything has been repainted yet. I'm close. So I'm gonna walk back in. Ooh, hello. I'll walk back in here and get some close clearances. Now, Connor, that bro, well, it's actually B-R-O, That's that stands for something. That's a code with those cars. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can look that up real quick while I'm doing this. That bro stands for something. And I can't remember what that stands for. Snag them. I guess I gotta go inside here. Actually, these will probably be opened. Open. 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 Yeah, see. Must be pissing my air away doing that. Okay. My fan breaks off. Swing around in here. Open it up. Now, now I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that or not. I'm trying to find out what that bro stands for. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, too far. Well, and not quite if I get to kick it. Why did I cut the air into it if I'm going to kick him? Ugh. I was not thinking there. Alright, here we go. It's, it's always a good stream if I can kick him. I don't need to be going too fast, I don't think. actually picked up speed. I think it might be a little downhill into that. <laughs> oh god, how hard are they going to hit? Oh. <laughs> oh shoot. That was funny. Did you guys know there's a Syracuse to Amsterdam Railroad uh, feed on broadcast by now? Interesting. Nice. nice. No, I didn't know that. Are you hosting that or someone else? Nah, someone else is. I'm actually working on getting a new antenna for Selkirk feed right now. Yeah, I knew you hosted that Selkirk one. Okay, for the spot? Yeah, the Selkirk one was helpful because uh, my do doing some research for uh, that particular project that uh, you guys saw earlier. Um, yeah, that's, that helped out a lot by just listening to the go those guys there's you know the east end and the hump and all that stuff so it's that that feed helps out okay close them up pop them that's the way the news goes oh you're welcome I uh hopefully I'll get that up and running pretty soon again. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do a full tour tonight. Um, just because I'm kind of being specialized here, working a local in this general area. I do have to remember when I go back out on the main to create a track bulletin and make a train report. I will have to do that before I go out on the main. And we'll have to do an air test and I'll get a marker dump test and everything together. So, Harrison, did you 
kill your HEP before you cut away there? Yeah, I did. Right on, man. You know right. I always do the Props. modified three step. Gotcha. Okay, so that's Moscoma parked and pick up done. Okay. All right, so now we'll go back to the main yard up here. And I guess what we'll do is we'll mm, I guess we'll pull everything by it. Oh, now see, oh JG Lumber's on the opposite side. That's a That's going to be a facing point. That's going to make an interesting move up here. I didn't think about that. Those cars are right here. Um, I might leave the outbounds here, put them on the rear, and then take these cars in. And because I think I can run around these somewhere, uh, might maybe might take them down to the MA, the run around where I started, and do it that way. We'll see. Well, I know how I want to come out of here at least. So, okay. That's our next move here. Still trying to find out what that bro means on that on them auto parts box cars. Side for these up here since there's a bunch of them.
first one's good. Like I said, we'll drop all these cars and we'll stick them on the rear. That way I, I can leave them at that switch where we broke off and we crossed the bridge the first time. I can leave them right there. And then they won't be in the way when I have to go up in and work everything, so... It has a, uh, uh, a single player, too.
Uh, that's what I always recommend, uh, is to, to, to do single player and learn the game before you hop into multiplayer. It, it really, it really help your experience down the road. Alright, Flounder, take care. Glad, uh, glad you made it tonight. Amtrak 49, Hudson Line, over. Okay, standing by 49. Standing by 49. Okay. User joined your channel. Who's here now? Get this pumped up. Waiting for my flow to come down right here. Right now to keep you guys abreast of what I'm doing actually I want to check something real quick I want to see if there's anywhere I could possibly run around this up here in town and I don't think because if you see I have to shove unless I split the power because you have to shove in here to work here's uh this is a JG lumber then up here is uh, revere copper and brass and then, so, which means those are actually good. I have to shove, I, ha I can, well, no, no, they're on the wrong side because I have to shove in from that switch out there. So I can work this industry, no problem, and then come out here, and then this is what, OWL, I think, or something like that. Yeah, this is really tiny. This is OWL. So those cars actually have to be on the, the front end of the engine. So we're going to have to come up with a move here to get... To get the um, the JGLs, the RCBs, and the OWLs on the head end of the on the head end up here. Now I got the runaround up here. See the OWLs right here. Um, so I might have to. Gonna think on the fly here. Uh, see, I could set these back over. Set the JGLs out. Set that OWL out. Although, actually, I think I want the OWL against the engine. Got to think here. I got to think. So, let's see. If we're going this way, and we're going to shove back in here, you know, the OWLs have to be against the, the leading nose and and the JGLs have to be and the RCBs actually so all so this cut here oh I guess everything is together right now I guess it's, it's like I said it's blocked right but I think I'd rather have the OWL car 
against the nose of the engine so when I go into that I don't have to Nine fifty seven, Amtrak Hudson Line. Okay. I'm going to shove these back. In here on two. Then I'm going to set that OWL car over. Then grab these these orders right here, these JGLs and all this, and then just swap them out so the OWL's against the engine. I think that's going to make for a better move when I get down in there. So. I think I've worked this job one time, so it's been a while since I've I, I've worked it to try and remember what to do. Worst part is I'm losing daylight while I'm doing it. CSX B957, Amtrak Hudson. Hopefully you guys are following what I'm what I'm doing here. Oh man, that's gonna be tight to run around it. We'll see here. We might be alright. We'll see. Uh, I'm not gonna bleed these like I usually do. Pop this car over. I, I got the headlight dimmed right now, Jared. That's why. This is interesting. I, I hope I'm making the right move here. I don't know if I am or not, but we'll find out when I get down here. So WL car in here. I might end up leaving my outbounds here. Maybe coming back for him. Okay, so I have track Hudson Line CSX 957 over. 957. Uh, I heard your light power today over. Yeah, Roger. Uh, just accepted your signal at 125. All right, that's Roger. Uh, okay, South, and um, you know when you're all tucked in there at Hudson and line lock normal over. Roger, we'll do. Thank you. 
Roger, Amtrak Hudson Line 49, over. 49 AMTK 183, ready to copy them. So pull these down, make a cut. Uh, you should have a light there, 49. Roger that, got the restriction, here we go. Thank you, dispatch. Roger, Hudson Line out. I'm almost thinking I might leave the outbounds here and just not deal with them right now. Can you want some uh, max speed for light power over Amtrak? I, for freight, I believe it's 50. Alright. So we'll grab this car, shove this all back to set it over. We'll run around it. Run around it, and then, uh... Get it on the head end, and then we can go down to do do most of our work. So, it's a little, little, little more, little different move here. UP 8393. Uh, what's your symbol, arrow? Q393. 393, go ahead, over. Roger, looking to get uh, a light here out of DeWitt Yard off the departure lead. Uh, heading west, over. Alright, uh, you guys still 5,500 feet, or roughly, over? That's a Roger, 50, or 55, 13 on the feet. 29 by 57. Uh, 58.53 on the tons. That's Roger there, 393, uh, signal indication off the departure yard lead, over. Roger, signal indication, here we go. Roger, uh, NFL. Good deal bump and shove here. Shouldn't open the anger pot while I'm moving, but again, trying to save some time here tonight. Hey, Chris. Yes. Would it be possible for you to kick me off uh, something on the OC? I uh, should be able to. Can you just reset me because it's not allowing me to crew anything. I want to see if that's the issue. What are you on? Uh, the 957. But it shows me I'm not on, but it says I'm on something. Where is that 957? Uh, local. Oh, there you are. I'll show Sean on it. Oh. Well, all right. Then he's probably solving my issue. Then never mind. Did you talk to him? Is that why? I guess so. I mean, I posted it for him like two seconds ago, but then I saw your right you're here. I would say he's work. Yeah, six thirty-eight. That was like a minute ago. So yeah, I'd say he's working on it. All right. Hello, Harrison. Yeah, Mike. Good. Uh when you get a chance, uh, check out your uh, cafe car. <laughs> Copy. Okay, so... Uh, looks like you might have a void effect. Oh, no. Roger. Okay, we're going to run around this junk. set this move up. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm running on PC. If you're talking about this game, I am on PC. Uh, I have a gaming computer. I, I can't remember. I think I got a... I was never remember this. NVIDIA 970X or something in it. 16 gig of RAM. Windows 8. I've had it for seven years now. She's been running good. So it blows up in the next 10 minutes because I just said that.
49 Albany, over. Got over. Yeah, we got a Dragon equipment on our cafe car, over. Roger. Conductor's trying to see if we can't fix it. If not, we're going to have to scrap it and get another cafe car. Alright, we'll uh, see what we can do here. Roger. Yes, this is on PC. You gotta have a window. Well, I don't know if it runs on Mac or Albany not. Albany 49. I don't think it does. Go ahead there, Albany. Yeah, uh, looks like I could uh, get the yard crew out real quick. Uh, if you can, talk to the Hudson line. Get uh, cut away with that cafe car. We can swap it out real quick. Alright, that's Roger. Uh, you want me to bring that cafe car with me? I'm using a controller. I'm using uh, the rail driver by PI Engineer. Yeah, uh, if you, yeah, you're okay in uh, whichever way your line is. I gotta step away for one second. I'll, um, right back. I'll talk to the Hudson line. I think they gotta probably hook you up with a couple of switches there. All right, copy that. We'll uh, tone up for you, not, uh, Hudson line now. Roger. Amtrak. 49, Hudson Line Dispatcher, over. 49, over. Talk with the Albany shops. Uh, we do have a Dragon equipment on our uh, cafe car. They want us to bring that in and swap it out with a new cafe car, over. All right, you guys ready to make your move, over? Uh, they're still working on uncoupling the car right now, uh, but we should be ready to go in about less than five. Or... Roger, give me a call when you're uh, ready to go. I'll get you your permission. All right, roger that. Yeah, I don't even know how to play the game without the rail driver. I literally do not know the keyboard commands. Forty-nine cost, that's one. Forty-nine. Yeah, we're all cut away with that uh, bad order cafe call we're ready to make that move. Bad order cafe. Right, what's a good incredible. leader for you? AFK 183. Roger, CD 49, engine 183. Mission West, and EP 143. Over. All right. Okay, Chief, proceed west. Uh, CP 143. Once we get there, over. Alrighty, boys. That's this right. is going to be interesting. This Thank you, sir. 49. We'll find out if I've made the right move by doing this. 49 Albany coming into the yard. Like I said, we're going to leave Roger the outbound. Be lined there, uh, Here's how it'll look from the inside. Bring up the. <laughs> whatever your line Here we go. for uh, cut away west of the ground. 
Stand by till I talk to you. Alright, cut away. Uh, looks like we're coming all the way to the left tracker. It's Roger. Um, the the requirements for Run A are on their website uh, at runhstudios.com. Link is in the description below. Uh, if you don't feel like typing that out, um, you can find them there. I think on the right side of the page. I think so Run A Studios. I know I've seen it. I've yeah, at 49 it. West End of Forward, that cafe car. Yeah, cut right. Away and talk. Right side of the Run 8 homepage. Right West End of Forward, cut away and talk. Uh, 49. Run 8 Studios.com. Okay, so we're going to. Oh God, um, I'm just gonna run like this for a little bit. I guess we'll just shove these out, and then uh, when I get down to the road crossing, I'll hop out. What highway is that? At? Out of curiosity. Four lane is called Hill Hill Road. Or no. no. Is that a different one? That's it, yeah. Oh no, that's that's uh New York New York Route 49, I think. If I'm reading Google Maps right. We're gonna bump up to twenty. So that big that big uh, crossing is is looks like New York Route 49. For those of you who absolutely care about that, Ryan, y'all good now? Yeah, I'm chilling. Thank you. You might be able to see Zach, who I'm just talking to. This is his crossing. I currently walking. have a train going through my front yard. Uh, wouldn't that be nice? It's got a BNSF Givo and a BNSF Ace up front. B957 Amtrak Hudson. That's a line over. Line locked at uh, Amtrak Station all in on the industrial. Alright, line lock normal there at the, at the station. Oh, Thank you, sir. Let me know when you're ready to come back out. Right, thank you. I've shot some line out. So many opportunities for... Over. Got over. I'll cut away with about a five hour car away. Over. Alright, get the yard crew in and clear, and then uh, I'll get a hold of the Hudson line and let them know you're coming. So many opportunities right, for screenshots. Okay, <laughs> west end of the uh, four rail. As soon as the yard crew gets out, uh, and you'll be uh, okay off. Uh, which which way you uh, come back up? Uh, we're gonna come in from the track to the left of us. Over. All right, three track, Roger. Uh, as soon as that yard crew gets out of the way, okay. Uh, there's three track uh, down the lead. Talk to the Hudson line. All right, once the yard guy gets out of the way, okay. Down three track. Talk to the Hudson line. Over. 
I should have grabbed the air for that. Okay, now we're gonna shove in toward downtown Rome, New York. See how we can uh, see if we can do this. I got a uh, quick question for those of you who use the uh, crew call feature, real quick. Yes. So I just got assigned a call that would have to be spawned in. How would I particularly spawn in my selected train? Which train is it? K140. Uh, you should be able to go to the unit trains page and there should be a spawn download there. Oh, okay. I believe. Should still be there. Okay, I might bring the map up here real quick on the off. Shoot. Okay, so whoa! Okay, 183, calling Hudson line over. So we're right here. We're right here Hudson right now. Line over. Just went yeah, through the switch. Yeah, down off the so, open yard, uh, looking to come back against the train over. We got to work here, here, Roger, uh, and in mission, here. So. Uh, CP 143 back against the train over. So you can see why I had Roger, to split okay, these cars up. In, CP 143 back against the train 49. Roger. Don't do that. No, I don't have choice. So this is why I had to split these cars up because I have trailing, I have facing point and trailing point switches in here. I have to work. So that's why the train is split the way that it is. So we had to try to facilitate those moves. All right, I'm gonna pick up the twenty here. And that's why I put that OWL car against the the engine there because it's really tight in here. There's not much room. All right, I downloaded the file and it's showing up in my uh, trains category. When I hit load, it doesn't let me. Do I have to do it in single player, get it in constant center, and then spawn it in? I, I, I missed all that, what was that? Okay, so I, I downloaded the file and when I go into my F1 load save menu, under trains, it's there. When I hit load spawn, it just says it can. And I was curious if I should go into single player, spawn it, get it in my constant editor, come back and spawn it in manually. Yeah, you could try that, see if that works. Alrighty. Trying to think of how I'm going to go about this here. If I want to work. CSX K140 26 calling the CSX NC dispatcher over. Uh, 
SF, answer to K140. Roger, we're not quite spawned in yet. We were just looking for permission to spawn on your main two track CP296 to uh, get set up to head east over. Okay, spawn in two track 296. I might go in Roger, there. permission to spawn. Thank you. Roger. I might go in there. Over. 49 amp track 183. Puts <laughs> 49 over. After considerable delay, we're ready to depart going west. <laughs> considerable <laughs> delay. It's Roger, uh, CD 49, engine 183. Yeah, we'll go for here. Permission west. Uh, where you stand, one station track. Uh, next signal at CP. 144 when you're ready. I'm a 1049, it right now. All right, let's go up in here first. I guess we'll work. Let me fly up in here. See what this looks like first. It's been a while since I've been in here. Okay, this is um. Oh, the scrap cars go in here. Or. Yeah. Or oh, box cars in there. Is this scrap here? Yeah, scrap here. Pipe over here. So I've got a oh, rebar. So I've got two rebars, two scraps, two box cars. Okay, that's good. Every it is, it's all blocked. There's literally nothing wrong with the way it's blocked. I could probably knock out that lum is lumber cars real quick. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll protect this crossing. I'll knock these lumber cars out. This will be quick. Yeah, who's calling over? CSX seventy fifty two Q one forty NF uh, K one forty. Go ahead over. Roger, we're sitting here at CP-296 on your number two main track, ready to head east when you can take us. It's Roger, K-140. That's your light there, 296. Uh, okay, to go east of Roger, signal indication. Roger, thank you, NFL. Yeah, so we'll shove these... shove these uh, RCV cars up here. We'll knock out the... Knock out the uh, lumber yard real quick. Oh man. Then we'll start, we'll, we'll knock out RCB and then go from there. I'm really hoping to make it to Utica tonight if I can.
hill is steep. Hello, Varexi. Hello. Alright, so we can get these cars up in here. Uh, who's calling over? CSX K140 for the last time. Over. K140, over. Roger, K140, just wanted to let you know we are running under bullet number 51186, over. 51186, that's a good number, uh, off you go, over. Roger, good number, here we go, turning and burning. Roger, NFL. CSX 7052 UP 8393 looking good on the run by marker on the back flashing away. Have a safe one. Oh. Roger, same to you. Uh, try and look the flash on the rear. Have a safe That's all I needed. That's a Roger. Thank you. Leave it bled. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to be able to kick this uphill. <laughs> I believe I'm even considering it. We'll just get it up here in the clear. Oh, we're just not going, whichever. I guess we'll not go in. Um, yeah, we do. What's the name of that local? It's, an, it's the NYSW local. Um, UT1. It goes up through this, uh, the Matt Brewery. It goes up and works the Matt Brewery in the street. Well, it goes further than that, but it goes up through, through Utica into the street. There's a train up there on the main line going by right there. So, yeah, we do have a, we do have a, a NYSW local. that okay uh all right this is all secured and everything so we'll just cut it now i'm gonna stick these two way in there because I, I have a feeling i'm going to need this track kick some of my cars out of the way after I go in there to work. Right to I, I think I'll pull two, two box cars, two rebars. Yeah, I'm gonna pull four cars out of there.
spot it right here, right here at the end of the warehouse. If I gotta shove it back, I'll shove it back. Okay, since I got the cars in here, we're gonna go ahead and work. Well, yeah, yeah. Since I got the cars up here, we'll go ahead and work uh, Revere Copper and Brass. So in here, there should be, yeah, there's a scrap gone, and there's two box cars in there, and then over there, on the other track, should be the rebar gone. So we'll go ahead and tie into all this. I guess we'll pull these outbounds and set them over and then we'll stick the we got the box cars and the scrap cars right here so that's I got them right where I want them so no sense wasting time oh, I'm almost about ready to turn the flashlight on Whoa! Uh-oh, whoa. Oh man, that was, that was a nasty lag spike right there. It just like stopped. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna put air to it because this is kinda hilly here, just in case I need it. Let's charge it up real quick. Was doing forward? I think it was forward. Now I got the power in the middle of this train. I can't remember which one's which. Yeah, there we go. Is, uh, I can't remember what Will is. But those back there, it's way across in Cleveland. Well, the lights just kicked on in the plant here. Can't turn my flashlight on just yet. Give it the old bump and shove. <laughs> Somebody call me. Uh, Roger, I'm just going to make sure it's alright to uh, spawn Amtrak 48 at milepost uh, 296, main 2. Okay to do it. Ok, 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave these bled off. I don't think I'll need that much air, so we'll leave them bled, and let's pull on. It, it might be Wilmington. That was almost what I said. I almost said Wilmington. I thought, eh, I'm not sure if that's right. I might run down and grab the grab them rebar cars too. I think I should walk these out. I technically can't ride these. In. This is close clearance in here, technically, I guess. Hey, MTK 184, NC Dispatch. 184. It's Heritage. Oh man, the face. Four. <laughs> uh, NF, uh, Amtrak 48, you calling over? Roger, uh, I was just looking here to get a signal indication at milepost 296 on Main 2, heading to Syracuse for a station stop over. At 48, that's your light there, 296, and uh, okay in and out there at Syracuse. Roger, got a light at 296, uh, okay in and out at uh, Syracuse, sir. It's Roger, uh, NF out. What's and uh, just a heads up, 48, might get some slow signals. We got one coming off the St. Lawrence, uh, he's gonna be waiting on you there at 286, sir. Roger, might get a little slow, but uh, we'll make it up there. It's Roger, uh, NF out. got to put the air on. Okay, I'm going to shove back in here and grab the rebar cars. And then spot these, then come back and deal with it. Because there's, I feel like I'm making an extra move there by doing it that way. Harrison is on here today. Harrison, my chat is concerned about you. What are they concerned about me for? And AJ uh, Stumball wants to know if you were here, because he says you're usually on with us. That I am. He's here, he's alive and well. Man, I gotta really rack it out. Five, six. Gonna give it the beans. Get it up in here. Oh, get Snapchats and all kinds of things. Unless you're talking about the YouTube stream. I am in, yeah, my chat. Uh, well, I'm not in the chat, but I am on the stream, of course. I think they just wanted to hear your voice. Ah. Uh, Aww. I'm so famous. It's so cute. Don't let it go to your head now, Harris. I'm not trying to steal Chris's thunder now. <laughs> Taking all my viewers. That's right. Uh, MS-28, just a heads up there. Your train symbol's showing none. My bad, I'll fix it. Yeah, hey, just, uh, just figured I'd yeah, let you know. Give it to Okay, we'll make sure this is... Q162, lead engine 48, I'm gonna drop these down to the switch here to make the pickup a little easier now, so... 162 answered, NC. Yeah, just wanna see how far you're gonna be making it tonight, over. Harrison is... He's on Amtrak, I believe. Harrison is on PO49, the westbound late for sure limited. Sliding in at Amsterdam? I think we can make that work. That's Roger. Uh, is Amsterdam with you? Here we go. Should be over here. Okay, 10 4. We'll let you know when we're close. That's Roger. Uh, we'll probably get you over to two, well, uh, one track there, 184, to get you in over. 2 to 1 at 184. Roger that. 162.
Okay, I got my outbounds ready to go, so I'll set these over. Don't have to bleed them because they're already bled. Harrison's got to concentrate and needs all of his focus. Providing quick service, speed, power braking for Jesus. Your fans got jokes, Chris. I know, we might have to do a collaboration or something here, man. You're, you're popular tonight. We might have to. I just like that old cast. I got to keep blowing it. Three. Hey, Chris. Yes. Uh, hopefully, you don't get forget the very important rule is to always break for Jesus. No, oh, that's what I told him. That's why he's so quiet because he's power breaking for Jesus. He's got to concentrate. That's right. the only way to run a passenger train. Notch six, trying to get it up this hill. <laughs> I won't forget how steep this hill is coming out of ATM. It's brutal. I have a full service on it, just pushing me down the hill. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> Get some dynamic. Handle off already. Yeah, let's just watch the brake pipe go slowly down. That's right. Yeah, is it, you got suppression, you gotta go deeper. <laughs> That's what she said. Look, I was near about to say that, but you stole it from me. Control over here at the top of the hill. I gotta get off close clearance. Spot it back here at the back of the building where I found it. Or, well, I'll spot the second car up here. Right here, we gotta be picky. Oh, wherever that goes. Oh, there's a secret door. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. <laughs> He's all alone. All alone in his time of I didn't get to that door. Good enough air. Can't see it from my house. Here's the secret door. It's like it's like Harry Potter's platform nine and three quarters you can only see it on one side <laughs> oh there's another one all right let's get out of here hey mtk 184 medium approach my post 291 spot these two scrap guns in this building some sweet conrail action there Put my Conrail detectors in, but I don't think we're going to see any tonight. I, the nearest one, we're at milepost. We're actually kind of back or further away from it, but CP248 and the nearest detectors down at Whitesboro at 241.4. So I don't think I don't think the speak and spells in the cards tonight. Oh no, wait, we're good. Okay, these are all spotted. So now I got to grab those outbounds. Put the rebar in there. It's all swinging my way tonight. on the wrong side of the car. Should be on the other side so I can see the 
What's your name? too much. Alright, let's go grab these outbounds. We'll shove them up. B957, Amtrak Hudson over. Amtrak Hudson line, CSX B957 over. Yeah, B957 looking to open up uh, the switch, the Amtrak Hudson Station, Occupy Main 1, for northbound move over. Uh, what's a good leader going back for you there, 957? Going back is the 8981, 8981. And I understand that. Roger, I only need it for uh, just one move, not clear back up. Uh, you say you just need headroom? Yeah, I just need uh, for one move. Roger, CSXB 957, and it's an 8981 okay to open up. Occupy number one track at west end, uh, or then of Hudson Station. Uh, for one move, and uh, let me know when you're line of lock. Roger, the uh, 957 We're going to open up uh, west end of Hudson Station, number one track, and uh, call you back. Okay, I'm still going to leave these Roger, bled. you are okay to wait the five over. I'm sorry, say that again? Okay to wait the five minute rollover. Rod. PEO 48, depart in Syracuse, 20 minutes early. <laughs> Discharge stop. Mike, I don't know if it matters to you, but those guys can call clears if they want to to keep the, keep the radio hot. Oh, I have no problem with that whatsoever. That's your 957, Amtrak. 957, go ahead, over. If you have anything coming, if, uh, if you don't have anything coming, I'll just hold it. I got nothing for a while, so uh, just let me know when you're all done with it. Line of lock. Over. All right, Roger. We'll give you a call in the line of lock. Over. Well, thank you. Okay, shove these Roger. to the clear. Q162, clear signal auto 193, east direction, main 2, CSX D4848 48 out. There we go. AMTK 184, limited clear, mile post 290 eastbound out. Yes, there we go. That radio hot, boys. Sixty-two. Luckily, these are all well. Two. These two are loads, but... All right, change your plans. I got Amtrak Forty-Nine coming. He's gonna get a little uh, mixy with the with the plan here. So we're gonna keep you going two track. I'm gonna get you over to the siding there uh, behind one at one seventy-five, and as, soon as Amtrak gets out of the way and uh, Q two forty-three goes east, I'll put you in the siding over. See if I can get these okay, to hold here. Okay, looking for traffic and lights up there by Amsterdam, and we'll take the signals when we get them. Thank you, NC. Uh, Q162 out. It's Roger, NC out. This is on a hill, so I'm going to do a quick drift test here, make sure they hold they hold tight. CSX K140, clear 280, main 2 east, CSX T7052 out. Okay, I'm going to say that's a good hold. CSX 
this is XNF, uh, K140. K140. Play a figure on the little pause in the siding there between 266 and 263. We're going to get Amtrak around you. Roger, taking a pause up at 266 and 263. That's Roger there. Uh, thank you, NF out. Just go right to Notch 3. Out. Right to Notch 3. Which one's the, I couldn't remember which one's the lead, which one's the trail. <laughs> Get these up here on the straight next to the rack. Yeah, Jared, that was uh, that E633 out of Lehigh Cement that happened right there at Schenectady. I remember that. <laughs> I knew the second it happened, too. I was like, oh, man, you got to be kidding me. All righty, that is done. Forty nine hitting the crew, let's go to forty six. Hang on one second. AMTK one eighty four clear, mile post two, eighty six dot six, eastbound. Okay, all right, let's not go into these. Yeah, okay, I'm sure I need to ride the car. Just walk up here. Forty-nine, limited clear. CB one sixty-nine, one west to the main two. Right, nice. Harrison is on the Chicago Hi. line now. And eighty to uh, Amtrak forty-nine. Over. Kio forty-nine, Anson over. All right, you'll do a little uh, little swap there. Uh, over to two, as you can see, you'll be going two track, and you'll go back to one at one seventy-three. Over. Right, uh, over. Two track, 169, all the way 175 on one over. 
Uh, over to one at 173. Over. Correction, 173, Roger. That's Roger. I'll see what I can do to part the seas for you. Over. Thanks, sir. We got 49 now. Pumped up fast enough. Right. Okay. Alrighty, we now will pull down. GSX train Q 162. I think what I'm Clear going to, to do. Main to main east direction, main two tracks, GSX D 48. I'm going to leave these outbounds right here so I don't have to drive, bring them with me, drag them around. I'm going to tuck these. Oh, wait, I'm going to do paperwork real quick first. RCB, rebars, boxcars, scrap gondolas set out. Picked up two boxcars, two rebar gondolas. NC, over. Okay. Hey, you want us to hold back for the station, station block at a. Uh Amsterdam for that 40, uh, what do you got, 48 going, 49 coming out, or what? Uh, 49's coming west, but he doesn't make Amsterdam, so you're, you're okay on through, over. Okay, just making sure, alright, sounds good, 162 up. Roger out. So, I'm going to pull down a little bit here. I keep forgetting which side was the right one. Um, 49, 183, leave the outbounds me. right here and go down, work these industries. I'm going to stick the AS cars in the industry for now. Go down, work OWL, and then come back, finish this, and then we'll start. We'll make some, we'll do some shifting. I'm on the wrong side again. We'll do some shifting to get the train ready to go to Utica. So. CSX K140 clear, 274, main 2 CSX T7052 out. I'm gonna block this crossing too, I know that. That uh Jared, that that uh was it was that Q Q O ninety, I think? That was a that was a really fun stream. So yeah, if you go back and watch that, that's a pretty good one. I don't know if I ever got around to AMTK one eighty four uh, clear. Putting Mild the timestamps in there or not? Two eighty three. He's found out. So I'm not entirely sure if I did or not, but uh Check it out, though. That was a really good stream. I, I really enjoyed that. Actually, no, I'm, I'm just going to knuckle into him. I know it'll block the crossing, but it'll set me up for later. Then I don't have to take more cars down or I don't have to deal with. you guys regulars on this route oh yeah I got a car here at Rome it's an outbound it says UTC man railroad interchange does that mean the tag didn't get switched or what does that mean I mean it, it has to go back to to Selkirk right to be classified yeah I mean that might have been an automatic generator, and that probably didn't get spotted in the right. I know there's probably an interchange track or something that, if you spot that car there, it, it should switch over. However, if it's been sitting in that industry for a while, maybe it would just go to, because uh, you're out of Rome right now, right, right Chris? Yeah, I'm in Rome. I'm actually at a AAS right now. Okay, yeah, if you're in Rome, so that car, that car would go to, uh, the yard there, Utica. Okay, I mean, it tells me to pick up two, uh, two coil cars, or no, two steel gondolas, and it's one of the steel gondolas, so. 
Yeah, that might be one of them. So, uh, but yeah, that would go to the yard there in Utica on the north side of the tracks, and then that would get further classified. Okay, but I just have to take it to Utica, right? I don't do anything else with it. Yeah, that's just gotta go to Utica. Alright. Pier 49, 12, 183, Okay. B957. Hampshire Hudson. Line ever. Yeah, 957, line lock normal. Uh, number one track west end of Hudson. Uh, uh look at the where we stand. Give me one second here, Asia. Back soccer. Roger, uh, B957, line of lock normal, north end of the station there, Hudson, and uh, you are OK west from, or uh, OK north from where you stand. Roger, OK north from where we stand, and uh... Roger, uh, normal move uh, over to the 2, 180, uh, 124, and then uh, get you back home. Roger, normal move back home, and uh, the train match gave us a new bulletin for you guys, would be 15, 899. All right, I'll pass that on to uh, the CSX there. Uh, right along with you. Raj, thank you, Rio. Roger out. AJ, the biggest train I've taken around Horseshoe, I had a 16,000 footer a couple clear. times, CP once or twice. 70 main 2 ECSX T7052 out. That's the longest I've ever had. Now oh. we're going to do something for the first time on this channel that's never been done before that I can remember, and I don't think it has. Street running! There is street running at Rome down here. Utica's not the only place with street running, so. AMTK 184, advanced approach, mile post 2, 78.4, south. The bell will be hard to hear, but you can hear me blowing for these road crossings coming back, so. Cab lights are on. Just for a minute, though, I don't like to run them too much. Ooh. Too fast, too fast. Kia 49, Gates one, eight, three, one west, one seven seven clear. So we'll slow down just a little bit. Twenty might be a tad too fast too. Turn the lights out. Makes it hard to see with the cab lights on. We'll do fifteen down through the street right here. Yeah, I might go out 4980 oh, I can't ride on the nose on the G40s, that's right. Okay, Activate late. <laughs> Slow down here, let these gates start up. Pier 49, 183, 1 West, 179 clear. Advanced approach, milepost 274.5 south out. 
Air Carrier 49, CSX eastbound, look good. Light on the rear, have a good day, or? Thanks for the roll by inspection, we'll try our best, over. Really get to hear that puppy whine when I ride the gondola all the way back. Okay, up here is OWL, which is Owl, Wire, and Steel. So it should be one in, one out at Owl. I think it's the max. It is a tiny track in here. OWL, yep, one, yep, one and one. That's the max in here. Yeah, I'd reword that. <laughs> our brother, our son-in-law. Counterpart, I think, is the term we use in the industry. <laughs> yeah. Or opposite. You're the counterpart to my train, yes. Now, see, I probably and we got, like, this. one apart engine numbers, too. That is correct. He's the jib to your pamp. Oh there we God. go. Actually, I can run around this and go back the other way. CSX K140, medium approach, CP266, main two to side. Because I track. think three cars will CSX fit in here. CSX 52 out. I guess they'll throw oh, yeah. the audio. What was that? The little bit we just had there, I guess still have a left now. Yeah, we'll, to, we'll run around this car and then it'll be yeah, already set up. Got one uh, ahead of you that's going to clear leave. up for you, and then uh, you'll get some better lights there, over. Roger that. Pop your ass. Go 162. Road signal automatic 177 east direction, main 2. CSXT 48 48 out. Yeah, that Q090. Stream I did was pretty good. I was up a long time on that one too. I don't remember how many hours that stream AMTK was. AMTK 184 approach, milepost 270.4 south out. Alright, we'll kick this gondola over real quick. Hey, who's calling over? CSXK 140. 140 over. Yeah, we're pulling into the siding here. We were wondering if we would be good to tie down here after we come to a stop. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think the gym, he's waiting for you there at 260. Uh, roger that. Uh, get a tie down. Roger that. Tie down at 260. Kick this sucker out of the way. 7052 out. I won't need much. Yeah, 4912, range K183, clear. CP184, west out. Break on it. Doing some man road now here. That's right. <laughs> Let's try to spot this as back as far as I can here. Four and a half hours. It couldn't have been. It had have been longer than that. If you do a flying switch there, Chris, I'll, I'll be very impressed. I've never tried one in here. I have. And about 20 times to actually do it. 
that corner Lafayette Indiana Switch right there too. <laughs> Whoops. I did. I lost. Yes, that's great. Q one sixty two. Restricted. CP one seventy five east direction eight two side of the track. CSXT forty eight forty eight. P F forty nine twelve one eighty three. CP one eighty eight clear one out. Should be our leader going to hey, you. UK 184, clear. Bomb post 266, south of. Let's see if it open. Eh, I'll leave it blood. I don't need it. Okay. Wow, the stream was four and a half hours long. Huh, you're right, AJ. I didn't realize that. I don't remember them voting to slow me down. I'm sure they did, though. <laughs> Do some run buys. Oh shoot, going too fast. Call when I get a chance. I'll uh, I'll check it out and see if I can answer it.
Doppler effect down here on this one. Hi, Chris. Hello. Oh, are you down here with me? Yeah. Was I not on the ground for you? I don't know, I wasn't in the cab, I was doing run-bys. Ow. Oh. oh, there you are. I figured I figured you meant Law uh, Lafayette, Indiana, there, Connor. Yeah, I guess I gotta put one for the street running. So we'll go up here, work AAS real quick, and then grab those outbounds, and then we'll have to go back to the main yard and see if we can run around most of this crap. <laughs> Shove it out to CP248 and see if we can get... Uh... All right, I'm going to get off here for the night, guys. You have a good one. You guys have a good one. Excuse me. See you, Zach. See you, Zach. See you, Zach. All right, y'all are on. Amtrak 49, clear 193, one west on the main Amtrak 183. Just putts. Hey, I'm good. Uh, how you doing there, uh, NW611J? Best steam engines ever made, one of them. AMTK-184, clear, milepost 259, Clear those road crossings for a bit. Jeff! Oh, man, okay. Sorry about that, Jeff. I'll grab this first. I'm going to need more headroom than that. 196, clear out. Not lately. Not lately. We're overdue for a horseshoe curve derailment, though. Can I turn my light off? Oh, turn my light off. ANTK 184, clear, milepost 257.0, south out.
does that. I don't know if it. Yeah, I might have to charge them all up now. I think. It's, a, it's been a goofy. Whoa, I am right at the end of the track! Holy moly! guy in the plant to come out here and lift back up on the track. Oh, was it just the wheel? It's like just the, yeah, just like half the truck was over the end of the track. Oh boy. It's just the way it was spotted, I think. Ah. Thanks, Jeff. It's a, it's kind of a, it's not just me, it's kind of a community effort to get, uh, to get some good sounds. Okay, 4912, AFK183. Track number one left, clear It's a community effort to get good sounds in the game, it really is. Actually, kick these. It's half the reason I didn't want to charge it. Oh, those didn't charge up. They should be bled, right? Now I'm bleeding real quick again. Okay. That was enough to get them all rolling past the switch. All right, they cleared up. Pair forty nine twelve and track one eighty three clear. Auto two hundred out. Good in the clear. We'll ride this back to the spot. Crossing's good. Yeah, probably keep it around as a shoving platform. So. Yeah, Colin, you can't goof around on Mojave. I mean, it's, uh, it'll get you if you're not careful. Even 3.1 HPT is still, you know, you think that's all, oh, it's plenty. Sometimes it's it's barely enough. That effect for playing Amtrak 49. Yeah, Jeff, that was right okay. down. Uh, that's about it for me. Have a good night. See ya, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Have a good night, Mikey. See ya, Mike. Yo, have a good night, guys. Uh, let me make sure I'm in the industry thing real quick. Should be. Oh, ANTK yeah. 184 clear. Bompa 51 out. Now, wait a minute. B957. Oh, yeah, it's four. Okay. NC dispatcher over. Quick paperwork here. NC over. Yeah, B957 knocking down a distant uh, up to SM. Alright, 
Roger that. Uh, K607 just uh, swapped crews there at the hump. Uh, so you'll be following him. You might get some slow signals going in the yard. Roger, following 07. Roger, and see you. PF 4912 and Sharp 183, one one, two zero three, clear. Uh, Jeff, that, that thing with the 9-11 tribute, that was down at the Shire Oaks. A crew put that on the head end of their train, and then they ran down to the mine, and then they changed trains, put it on another train, and then they came back with it. I used to work down at Shire Oaks, you know, several years ago. Actually, you know what I'll do? I gotta go back anyway. Let me I'll grab these cars up here. All the customer work is done. Now we got to gather up all the outbounds, and I got to come up with a quick plan for that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Seven that'll be on the wrong end of the train when I shove out. So actually, I might end up taking those cars on the one end and spotting them here and running them seven up here to run around them because we have to face west to go to Utica. So, and then we'll have to shove these cars out of here to be, so that might be how we'll go about this. It'll take me a few minutes to do this, but that's the game plan. I like to let you guys know what the game plan is. So, yeah, they were a big hit too. There was a ton of people following those guys around last night, yesterday while they did that. It was a big hit down there. So we'll knuckle into these. Two GP40s in the regular Run 8 Western scheme. Uh, they're simulating a Mohawk, Adirondack, uh, and Northern engines on the short line here between uh, Utica and Rome, New York. Okay, I guess back to the lead out there. Trying to get this all put away. Protect this crossing here real quick. Might be able to hear Zach's uh, crossing thing a little better here. Since the engines are back there. I just now noticed the cross bucks are on the wrong side of the road. AMTK 184 here, my post 244 south. So we're gonna shove out at 20 mile an hour. Oh, I can't see 
can't see anything. <laughs> Against this bulkhead, I guess we'll just have to look out the window. Get you the light on there. Yeah, we'll leave all the lights on. Okay, so like I said, I think what we'll do if you follow this, we're going to shove out to this switch up here. And I think I'll leave these cars here because they'll already be ready to go, and then running around them won't be an issue. So we'll just leave them here, then shove back up across Route 49, I think I said that was. And then we'll have to run around these cars, and then run around the cars I have, get them together, then shove them all the way back down the interchange, and then... Um, do a, get a marker on, do a do a test with the do a uh, a dump test, do a class one air test on everything, and then uh, we'll talk to the dispatcher. Go up to Rome, or excuse me, go up to Utica. Put the train away at Utica. Grab the orders that are at Utica, and then come back here. And I'm going to put it, tie it down up here at the runaround, and that'll do it. So, this has actually been a very quick trip. Field 4912, Bantrek 183, Vance Proach, 209, out. 209, Harrison is still 40 miles away yet. I, I think he might he might catch up to us while we're up working in Rome, but I just don't want to ride on that the whole time. PO 48, no defects, Whitesboro. Oh, that's right down the road. PO48. That's an eastbound. That's already gone. We missed him. Let's see what's out here at the. We got one lined up out there. Yeah, so that's just, that's what we'll do. We will, uh, shove out to clear this, leave them cars wherever they end up, run up there to the yard, grab them, get them all switched up, run around them and all that jazz, and then come back and that'll be it. Whoa. Whoa. We'll hang out here at the switch. AMTK 184, Butch. Mile post 239.2 south. Or no, wait. Tate and Lyle, that should be uh, corn syrup. I see those cars all the time going east. Uh, this route, Jeff, is, uh, this is, well, I'm on the, it's the Selkirk and Mohawk. I'm on the Mohawk side of it. Um, okay. If you want to stop anytime. Okay, we will spin two handbrakes on. Close this. throw that switch, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Pier 
They're gonna come down late, but I'm not slowing down for it. <laughs> hey, uh, 48 station, stop you sitting. NC 49, over. PF 49, answer, over. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get you around at least one. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep some of these other guys going west here. Uh, but I'm gonna get you round one. So, uh, figure on going over to two at 218, back over to one at 225. Alright, that's Roger up to 218. Try one and two, over to 225, back to one. Yeah, I gotta try it. There's two empty trains to get closing out on you to come to try and keep that moving so they can uh, at least get a little bit ahead of you there so that you don't get slowed down by this uh, other guy over here. Understood. Thank you for the heads up. Over. Roger out. 49. NC, uh, B957. 957. Yeah, yeah, uh, the yard stepped out of for a little bit, uh, looks like it's pretty wide open, so, uh, show where you're lying for. Go ahead, yard it. Over. Oh, right here. Yeah, I'm shooting. Oh, boy. Uh, traffic hasn't changed much. Um, it's all, it's, I mean, still busy, but. Whoops, same, it's been the same stuff, you know, for the most part. I've been off for a week, though, Jeff. I was on vacation. Well, actually, a week and a half. I was on vacation, so I go back tomorrow. Okay, I'm not sure how many feet. This is in track two. Track 2 is 870 feet. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to go in for that, but I'm not sure this is all going to fit. If I grab it and pull it out and set it over, it'll fit. Oh, I'm blowing up. PO48, Martin, you see the 25 minutes early. NC48, over. 48, go ahead, NC. Uh, you might get a slight pause there at 225 to wait on your counterpart, over. Roger, uh, getting a slight pause at 225 to wait on the counterpart. That's Roger, uh, NC. <laughs> Because it's showing 1061. Yeah, this isn't going to fit. I don't have 200 feet of engines in here. So let's hey, do Mike, this. Can you throw that switch to go underneath the hump? What's that? Can you throw that switch so I can go underneath the hump? Switch. Uh, which way, uh, you, where, where are you going to put the train? Are you going to hump it right away? No, nah, I'm going to put it down too. I'm just going to use a middle crossover so the next person comes to get them. Go okay, down we're the track. Gonna, we're going to pull this out. Light. Roger. Uh, lined uh, for the tunnel track there. Okay. Alright, this is great. This is all going to work out. One west approach limited to 15 hours. Yeah, it was, uh, Jeff. I was at the Outer Banks for a week. I figured I can dump these two in the shop really quick. And that's all I'm going to take care of. And I can hook back up the tent. Roger. Outer Banks, man. It's like it's almost like paradise. Put them. Just put them on the pad for now. It's tough to beat. Uh, the shop engines? Yeah. Oh, uh, you just put them right in the building. Died. But it sounds like not my job. Roger. But I'll do it anyway. Oops. Hello. 
because I'm just an overachiever. Now finally gonna get to do some mainline running. Okay, we'll shove all this back in the clear up here. on the wrong MF, or the... Oh. Oh, it must have been bled. Okay. Up. <laughs> Track 183, 1 to 2, limit clear, 62 AMTK 180 clear, milepost 231.9, south out. Once I clear the switch, I'm going to stop and change ends again, because this is going to be my leader for the return trip. For the, I should say trip to Utica. Okay, we'll hop in here. Let's see full service. Oh, it's dark in my room. I can't see. And cut in, cut out. All right, all right. This is the new leader. Cut in and release the automatic. That's all good. Okay. Just have a short little trail. Okay, we'll do a quick brake test. Yeah, I'll turn the headlights on for a change. Um, okay, release the independent. 
hopefully this works here. Go ahead and make an automat automatic brake application. Red needle should move. If you missed the first brake test earlier in the show. AMTK 184 advanced approach, mile post 230, south out. Getting an application. Uh, here's a bail. Good bail. Uh, for the reduction on the automatic. Needles moving, getting an application. Good further, release the automatic. Auto apply the independent. And independent release. Okay, good brake test. Let's tie on to this thing. Going GLT. Ooh, hot. Glad you can make it. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're gonna do a good we're gonna do a good brake test when we get back to the rear end anyway. Or, so. Here we go. Clear two twenty on the west main two out. Grab the switch back here. I'm good. Like I've been saying, back from vacation. So, um, it depends on the test, Jeff. If it's a class one brake test, you have to. You're supposed to walk the entire application, and uh, you know to verify you have an application, and then you can do a roll by on the release. Um, so depending on your situation, if you can do a roll by with the release, you can do that. Um, other than that, you have to walk the application. Now, if you do a class three brake test, which is what we call a blow and go, which is like when you you set out cars and you tie back in, you just you're doing a class three brake test, which is just you're testing for train line continuity, just to make sure everything is okay. Because while you were doing your set out, somebody could have come up and closed angle cock somewhere. So you just watch. You just check to see if the marker moves when you make your application, and then when you make your release. That way, that way you know everything. That way you know everything's together. All the angle cocks are right, and your your brakes are applying and releasing throughout the entire train. AMTK 184, stop sitting off 225.9. You don't have to call the milepost for the interlockings, you can just say CP 225. That's a project. Not really going to worry about it. 
Um, I, I'd say the class three is the most common test. I mean, because you just there's more situations in which you would do one. Forty nine twelve one eighty three when they clear two twenty five one west. Your class, your class one occurs in yards or when you pick up cars for the first time. I'm gonna blow. It's not really gonna matter, but. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> Crunch. Um, like now, when we get down here, I'm going to try Afternoon there, Mr. Harris. to simulate a class Afternoon. one brake test, and I'll walk, I'll walk through that like I usually do. Um, but like class one brake tests are done, like when a lot of times in the yards, the car department does them. So like when I put a train together at Conway, and the train 48 train looks good. Have a safe day over. Roger that same to you, uh, train look good, Mark Rear over. Alright, thanks for the robot inspection and track 49 out. Yes, we do that too, GLT. You'll get, uh, like the car department will tell you the car is a shop. It didn't pass, uh, it didn't pass a brake test, so now you gotta, you gotta dig that car out and set it over. And, uh, um, we, you get that sometimes, which is great. That's a money maker. Especially if it's like really deep in your train, you know, you can take all day pulling out and stuff. That's that's a that could be a money maker. It's it's a good job if you can catch one. <laughs> now this whole if you've been here the whole time, I see the counts view counts hey, popping MTK up. Again. Clear, CP Dropping Stop a little up. bit. If you've been here the whole time, you notice I haven't had a marker. There hasn't been an EOT on the train. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this all together here. And then I'm going to hang the marker for the first time, and then we're going to go ahead and just do a do a whole test here. So, oh boy, oh boy, it's going to be a hard day. Yeah, forty-nine, twelve, one eighty-three, clear signal. Woo! One left. Like a glove. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to comes an eastbound or westbound yeah westbound we're gonna hang a marker no nope, not a handbrake the OT all right so we got the OT on what is this here ethanol train k689 okay so what we'll do, we'll go back to the cab for this. Um, up here, at least these cars, that's interesting. So uh, they're already showing air in them. Marker showing zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut in. He should be cut in. Okay, what I ride back on. Just back here a little bit. I lost my place when I knuckled in. Um, I read this gondola back. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut this in. Hopefully. <laughs> the flow didn't move when I did that. It's kind of disconcerting. Okay, well, we got a more We are allowed to AI these Amtrak, correct? What was that? We are allowed to AI these Amtrak, correct? Uh, Mike's dispatching, so yeah, he can probably keep an eye on it. Yeah, uh,. No reason you can't. Roger, I got something to do, so. So we're getting a reading here. It's coming up awfully slowly, though. Danny. Hello. Go to the shop page. Did I do that right for track two? Actually, we're losing air for some reason. Because it shows five hours, and the other one saw it take three, so okay, Ah, that, that don't help. Uh, yeah, you didn't put any status on it. Oh, well, shit. All right, hang on. Why does that... Oh, so because that's that tank, that's that tank car I pulled. Slash day inspection, then. Okay, let's don't see. The timer. That might help. Yeah, There's there we go. Here. It's 
It's undergoing 92, and then there's no, for the start timer, there's no box. Let me clear the track and try it again. All right. Okay, we're showing 87 on the rear. We're going to go ahead and do a class one brake test. We'll drop it down 20 pounds in these. All right, fellas, drop it good night. Take it easy. See Have you. a good one. Okay, so we'll go ahead. From your channel. Yeah, so it's all starting yeah, to release. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and give it a 20 pound reduction. 90, we'll, get it, we'll drop it down to 70 pounds here, give it a good reduction. So here we go. You can also see it up here on the heads up display. Okay. We're getting a reduction. Now, how you can simulate this to run 8 is that these car, this graph here, if you've never seen this before. Oh, I did. Now it says zero, zero. The top of the graph is the slack, or the the, in, the buff force is in-train force. The bottom is the brake cylinders on the cars. This one's probably not applying because I've bled it, and it's acting goofy when I bleed it. What is that? I'd One, two, three, four, five. Right. Oh, who's this going by? Oh, man. How the hell did you do that? Got some CN stuff. I don't know. Maybe I just got the magic touch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I probably bled this car, and it's just being goofy because I did that. Sometimes that happens. I had to type in the form for another problem. I've been left reporting on left and right today. Ah. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. That's good. Okay. Seventy on the gauges. Sixty-nine on the pipe. Here comes the release. See if we get a release all the way through. Should, shouldn't take long. What would they do without you, Ron? It, my point exactly. Well, I can't leave. So I'm never going anywhere. Alright, so this train is now up to date. I'm going to delete this train report. Put a new one in there. So there's good paperwork here. So let's go to load save hey, train. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, you're not going to shove that thing all the way to you, are you? No. Okay, I was just wondering. No, I got it set up to shove out to 248 and then go west. Oh shit, this goes east, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What you could do, there's a run around just east of you. You could just shove there, run around it, and go east. It won't fit. That's what she said. See, Sean's got these maps freaking backward. Oh. He's got the east at the bottom of the map and the west at the top of it. Which, it's yeah. it's backward from the rest of them. Oh, crap. Give 4912 Amtrak 183, clear CPT 35, Robin, you The hell am I gonna do? Oh, boy, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this one. I understand perfectly fine. You could push pull, you know. That is true. Yeah, just uh, shove, shove back, uh, set your one engine over, and then pull by, and double back to that engine, and run it push pull. <laughs> run it long and forward. Oh lordy. I'd, I'd have to. Well, I don't think I don't think I have a choice, do I? Well, if you go if you go back to that. Uh, oh, the run around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you go back there, it looks like you got enough room to run around, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I can't believe I goofed that up got that backward. You just want that overtime, don't you? I I'm fairly certain in all the rest of these depot maps, the east is at the top of the list and the west is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. This always screws me up. Give me a minute. It's one of those days where you know it's going too well. That's right. Okay, so now we'll take the marker off. Well, at least we know the marker works. That's what happened to me, happened to me on Wednesday, and a car crashed into my train. At least that one's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you get a call from the boss. Hey, stop what you're doing. All right, why? He goes, oh, someone just ran your train at the private crossing. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Fire up that recrew. Fire up the jitney. Okay, so now we're going to shove back because we're going to change plans because I'm a total idiot. So. 
Oh. That happens. B957, NC. Oh, here comes a. Uh, 957 over. Westbound. Oh, so we will get to hear a detector the then. Now, looking to come out and then on the go back side. in on 10 track and receiving. <laughs> I can't believe I'm so Out dumb. of the tunnel and around for 10. That's a Roger. Uh, here we go. Roger. Okay, yeah, so 12, we'll shove this in here. Arriving on the one Set one unit out. Grab it. Pull it all back. Grab that unit. Switch ends again. Then do a quick brake test and we'll be out of here. Oh, Lord. Green train coming now. It's okay, Chris. I saved you. Yeah, you're like, you're going to shove that all the way to you to come like, no, why the hell would I do that? Because <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm watching it like, he's seriously not going to shove all that way. Not only an idiot would do that and then put the engines on the wrong end of the train. You mountain hammies are all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I earned that one, I think. Yeah. Not one of my better moments here. <laughs> Leave it to a hammy to save the day. You work for Amtrak. You're a government employee. I'm a mutt as far as I'm concerned. Hey, how's Caitlin doing? I haven't seen any pictures of her lately. Oh, now she's been working. I've been working. That's good. I, I, I guess that I hadn't seen a picture of you guys in a while. I actually went to your your page to see if you guys were still dating. Oh, we are. We're just, we just don't like to put stuff on Facebook all the time like certain people do. He's been checking out your Instagram too while you're at it. I figured. No, i just like to see how you guys were doing. Then I haven't seen anything in a while and I got worried. Yeah. Busy working, so. Yeah, that's Back good. to work at night. Well, at least you got stuck with somebody who understands that kind of schedule, you know? Yeah. You don't have to explain to her why you're not home every night, or, or well, you're not, or not at home at night or in day or whatever, you know? Or why are you working every weekend? <laughs> right. All right, Devin, thanks for stopping in, buddy. I guess that it's not a Monday to Friday job when it gets off. Right. Well, at least the one I'm on anyway. I'm going to isolate that for now since I'm cutting away from it. Let's uh, disconnect it. Close it. Okay, okay minor set back here. Read my mind, Mike. Yeah, I caught that. Uh, looking at it, I'm like, eh, something's not right. Quick move here. Take two seconds. And it's funny, Chris. The day we went to Stratford, we were supposed to ride behind the 611, and the, one of the tender springs on the one of the trucks broke, and we actually rode behind the 475 instead. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. 611 broke down again. <laughs> yeah, they, they say they're the big engine and everything, but somehow they keep breaking something new every week. That thing is dying every okay. time I hear about it. Full high. 765 went to Strasburg and it wouldn't be having all these problems. Yes, sir. Yeah, 57. 57's all clear. Uh, all on time. Uh, 957, say all in the clear. 10 receiving over. Roger. Roger, thank you. Luckily, it's not a big train. Yeah, point nine. I'm just going to take one. Departure. Because that's my main one delayed wall. 
State rail fanning. Well, I definitely GTFO out of Utica, that's for sure. Ha! When, when Mohawk first launched, they were working on the Plus server. I tried to get them to name one of the industries up at Utica Dunder Mifflin, and they wouldn't do it. Oh, that's not fair. Either, well, I, it's not that they wouldn't do it, I don't think they understood what I was talking about. I mean, we had a perfect opportunity there, and we didn't get it. Well, you could always try for another one. You could try for the Michael Scott Paper Company. Oh, that's a good one. I'll throw that in there somewhere. Should have just went with the Independent, because they've only got one engine up here. Okay, now we're getting it back together. The minor setback. Sorry, set up his DP. I mean, both ways are right. Oh, okay. So, so we're going to isolate this because you obviously can't have that. So, okay. So I got that isolated set up as a DP lead unit. I will need a marker. I don't think the engine thing goes away when I do that. Okay. All right, got that set up. EOT's on there. We did a brake test, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and resave this real quick. Uh, temp save for the OC while I do my quick. All right, now here's your class three blow and go. I'm just gonna do continuity. Gonna see. User in your channel timed out. Bye, Harrison. Rot row. All right, so we deleted that. We're gonna go ahead and create a train report, especially since I'm going out on the main line. Okay, got the application. Here's the release. User joined your channel. And we'll create a general, create a track bulletin. Harrison. Mikey. Saved your choo choo. Thank you. Sure. Stupid computer with their Windows 10 blue screen BS. Forty-three, the uh, M A and N forty eighty N C. C three forty-three, go ahead over. Come up to C P two forty-eight, off of our railroad bulletin number one one five nine four. Over. One one five nine four. Uh, let me take a look. See here. 
stand by. Roger, got 21 of them for Utica. Roger. All right, one one five nine four is a good bolt in there for you, Z three forty three. Uh, you said the M A N N forty eighty is your good leader to go back over. Roger, forty uh, forty eighty is our leader going east. Roger. All right, that's Roger. Uh, get Amtrak going west, and then uh, then we'll get you going back uh, for the other side over. All right, Amtrak uh, to go west, then we'll go. Roger, and yeah. NS goes as far west as Kansas City. Or, well, actually, it might be St. Louis. Whichever, whichever one. It's one of the two. I can't remember where 20T originates at. If it's Kansas City or St. Louis. I think it's Kansas. It must be Kansas City then. Let me see. Now I can't remember if they go that far. <clears throat> yeah, Kansas City. Earn what? Yeah. Can't, yeah, Kansas City. PO 49 and 12, clear, signal, wiper of 1 West. Because 20T, yeah, 20T originates at Kansas City. Couldn't remember. Yeah, oh, because it was uh, 20A. 20A originated at St. Louis. That's what it was. There were two There were two trains that went that way. Roger that, Nitty Fix, Amtrak 49. Yeah, yeah, Marv, so far so good. <laughs> I guess we're just waiting on Amtrak now. Because Harrison's on 49. I think so. Just me and Harrison now, I think. Unless there's somebody working in the yard. I have. What did that do? PO 4912, looking at 183, clear, auto 244, one west out. Oh, okay. Nope, we're good. Uh, Ryan's doing something, I guess, but he's not showing logged in. But yeah, there's just a, just three of us now. Z three four three, M A N N forty eighty stop signal C P two forty eight east on the M A N lead up. Oh, I didn't want to release it. Ah, well, that's great. It'll stop. So he's coming west. Ah. 
No, uh, not not quite power breaking for Jesus. Not at ten mile an hour. <laughs> I do have way cross. I do. This actually works out. Just let it roll down here. That's good enough. I'll just set ten pounds. Shield forty nine twelve. Back check one eight three. Clear. Auto two four six one. What main up? He's only he's only two minutes away. Power braking is just where I'm gonna hop down here for Harrison's roll by. Power braking is just where you you apply the automatic air while you're in throttle, and you slow down and keep the train stretched out. That's all. That's all that is. I mean, it's just. But you gotta be careful because you can break a train in half doing that. Forty nine twelve and track one eighty three two eighty two seventy forty eight one less clear. There you go. I'll get it someday. I should have a rock and K five LA on here. We have 49, look good by me with a marker. I will let you know here in a second, over. 343, train look good. DP live on route. Alright, Roger Harrison, have a good trip. Thanks, sir. 49. <sighs> there we go, slow clear. Put the tags back up. Alright, got the release, flows down, here we go. And C C three forty three, that's your light to go east over. Roger, our light to go east, here we go. Roger and see ya. I have been in the cab of a uh, dash a C forty dash eight point five W. They're pretty neat inside. Well, they were. If I even still have the pictures of it or not, I could probably drop them in my uh, Discord. C343, MA and N4080, slow clear, CB248, east on the road lead up. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit the Whitesboro detector. So we'll get a little Conrail detector action up here. It was a little different than the 60Es, but it, uh, it kind of, it, 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 well, not really, actually, I think about it. It was... It was actually, it, it was very different from the 60s, actually. It's hard to describe it, but it was.
Yeah, all the eight, all the dash, eight point fives are gone. All right, here we go, out on the main. They had control stands in them, but that that they were that they shared with the 60s. They had they had similar control stands in them. PF 4912 and track 183, 254, one west. Clear. But the back wall was different. The conductor's desk was different. It was just it had it had just totally different features in it. Forty nine twelve and track one eighty three one west two fifty five clear. Uh, best look in terms of livability, uh, the like the the ES forty fours and ET forty fours, some of the aces depending on how they have how they are. Thanks, Washington State Rail fan. Thanks for uh, stopping by tonight. Z343 MA and N 4080 clear. Signal 24620. So. Thanks for stopping in, Peyton. Uh, yeah, it's been like almost two months, I think, since my last one. So, life gets in the way a little bit. The S44s, the ET44s, and the SD70s are some of the best ones to ride in. Bye, Moretti. Bye, bye. Bye, Moretti. See ya. Bye. Yep, I'll see ya. Track bulletin that I give you, or I gave the dispatcher, is just um, it contains all the speed restrictions and other information you need to know, walking conditions and bad footing and this and that. Um, Forty-nine locomotive one eighty-three one west on the main clear two fifty-eight. You have to verify that with the dispatcher when you come on duty to make sure that you have the right bulletins with the right information. So he just verifies the number of your bulletin against the one in the computer. That's how they determine if you've got the right bulletin number or not. Z343 
343 MANN 4080 advance approach 244 wanting to stop I've had incorrect bulletins before, where I got on a train and uh, the bulletin I printed was like several hours old. I've been on, to answer NKP's question about traumatizingly bad cabs, uh, I've been on ones of full toilets where you had to just keep spraying air freshener spray. Been on ones that were vi that vibrated and gave you headaches, and the windows rattled open in idle. Looking at you, C6Ms. Yeah, they're not all good. <laughs> It doesn't happen very often that you get a wrong bulletin number, but it, it does happen from time to time. Some of the earlier aces do, but the C6Ms are horrible for it. PF49, Amtrak 183, clear, CP263, no defects or not out. Slowed down too much. Sim World 2 is coming out with the horseshoe curve route, huh? Hadn't heard that yet. I'd like to see some bits and pieces of it. Curve, Altoona, Johnstown, and South Fork with ES44, AC, GP38-2 developed by Skyhook Games. Huh. That'll be interesting. Z343, MANN, 4080A, approach, 241, winning step.
handrail. New York. Mile post. Two, four, one, point, four, track, one. It's about uh, it's about time for 63V if they're going to Mingo. Usually they recruit Conway Conway around I don't know six or seven somewhere like that. So you'd be you'd be right on par for 63V. I do not run west of Conway because that's where the uh, um, seniority uh, district ends. Um, west of Conway is what they call the nickel plate agreement, and east of Conway is the and what they just call the NS agreement. So there's two different seniority districts. If I were to go to Conway West, I would lose all my seniority. So all seven years that I've built up, I'd lose it. So nope, can't go west. I'd like to. I'd love. Well, they did away with the Elkhart pool, but I'd like to, I would have loved to have taken a run to Elkhart just to try it, just to see what it's like to be bombing out across Ohio and Indiana at 60 mile an hour continuously. Okay, No, it's not worth seven years to go west. So she, the close every every little bit, I get closer to uh, holding that long pull. Check the mainframe real quick. Let's see where I'm gonna be here. In the Scale 49, Amtrak 183, clear 270, one west. First one. Uh, there's a there's a westbound coming in at 235, uh, six, Q627. 
Um, I got a stop signal up at 235, so you can get in the yard there. Um, once you get in the yard, if you can just let everything to, to normal, that'd be that'd be great. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, always fun to jump on your stream there, Chris. Yeah, I appreciate your dispatch. It added a little bit to it tonight. Yeah, I figured it would help a little bit. So, uh, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, have a good one. All right, see, see you, Mike. Mike. User disconnected from your channel. Uh, not another division because my brother hired out on the Harrisburg division, and then uh, he he transferred home, which is was at the time was on the Pittsburgh division. So you don't lose your. Forty nine Amtrak one eighty three Beth approach. So you don't actually lose your seniority. So Z343 MANN 4080 restricting CP239 1E stuff. Okay, I gotta remember how to go in here. Let's see, we're gonna put these cars in on one track, so actually we're gonna jump ahead here a little bit. Oh, the yard leads way up there, that's right. I forgot about that. This 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 is a goofy spot here too. There's a signal that comes out and then there's a switch here. This is actually a hand throw. I think what he should have done was lined me through 239 and then let me stop here and unlock this switch as an electric lock and then go into it. But I don't that's that's what he should have done. But okay, so this is what one. This should be one track. One, two, three. Oh uh, wait, maybe I'm confused. No, this is over here. Yeah, this is one, two, three, four. PF 4912, Amtrak 183, Vance Approach, 274, 1 West out. Oh, here's the cars I have to go back. Oh, I gotta dig them out. Oh, there's the interchange. What? How does that work? I, I don't know how that works. It's not on my work order. I'm not worried about it. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh oh, what happened? What? Why is the brake pipe at zero? What happened? I'm in emergency. Emergency, emergency, emergency. Z343 emergency, CP239. Why am I in emergency? Did I break a knuckle? That's something you don't want to hear. No, I'm up at I'm up at Utica checking out the yard to see where I can put this stuff, and all of a sudden I'm in I'm in emergency. Huh? That's weird. Yeah, I didn't bump anything. I notched out to keep it moving, but it shows me intact. I got the marker and everything. That's wild. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and try to recover the PCS here. Unless I somehow bumped the emergency, the EOT emergency button, and I didn't realize it. Yeah, that could be possible. Yeah, I wasn't paying that close attention to it. I could have done that. All right, Jeff. Take care. Thanks for watching. Shoot, now I gotta dig these cars out too. Wonder why it went in the hole. That's interesting. I don't, really don't understand that. I might 
call it a night. I might get in the yard up here and call it a night anyway because I, I do have to go to work in the morning. <laughs> How long have I been running? Four and a half hours. Yeah, I'll get this put away and get the power put together. Now, when the PCS clears, in real engines, they don't do this, but in run eight, they, they kept getting uh, complaints or suggestions uh, that people didn't know when to release the aut the emergency, uh, the automatic handle from emergency to clear the PCS. So, it'll flash now. In the ACEs and the, see right there, and the ES44s, it, it counts down on the computer and tells you. I have no idea what caused that. I have absolutely no idea what caused that. No, I didn't run a red. The next signal's up here. It's still showing restricting. I didn't run anything. Go ahead and blow it down real quick here. I don't know what I'm going to take in the morning. Um, after you come off vacation, you, you mark up at 7 o'clock in the morning, so that would actually put me right at right at prime time for 18N in the morning. So. So. Well, air come up. A good application to release. Okay. Well, we'll pull in the yard here. Yeah, I think... Yeah, the DP's still idling. Unless... See, it didn't break in two. I had to mark it the whole time. 12, looking by 183, advance approach, 281 west. Show movement. So I think when I get up here, I'm going to put these cars away. And then... I'm going to get the power switched around. And then I'm probably going to call tonight, because I don't want to be up too terribly late. Study effects, same check, 49. After finding out that I gotta, I gotta drill my cars out, I'd, I, I, if I, it was gonna be an easy pickup, I thought, but now it's not, so. No, it just is set out from Q62026. So it doesn't actually state that it's, it's just the orders. I'll get these in. Oh, like I said, I'll pull in. I'll cut away, run around. I'll get the engine set back up for the outbound crew, but I'm not. I'm not going to get back to Rome tonight. I'm just. I'm tired. I'm tired, and I gotta think about it, getting some sleep for work in the morning. So. Pf 49 Amtrak 183 westbound number one track advance approach CP 282. The. Uh, the fun parts of being an adult. It doesn't ask me if this is info. Restricted speed's 20 mile an hour. Cars from Z43. I don't know the length of the weight. I actually don't care about that. Okay. Show's ready for pickup. Subdivision. I okay, home terminal. Since the questions are coming in. My home terminal is Conway, Pennsylvania. Which is Pittsburgh which is like Pittsburgh for the you know, because you don't know where Conway's at. And then the subdivision, it's not when I'm of a subdivision, I work on the well, it's <laughs> because it's complicated, because NS makes it complicated. It's part of the Keystone Division, which is a combination of the Pale Pittsburgh Division. Well, look, I'm going to win one West A, approach CP-283. Uh, the Keystone Division is a combination of the Pittsburgh Divisions and the Harrisburg Divisions, but I work on the Pittsburgh Division part of it. I'm qualified from Conway to Harrisburg, 
But right now I'm in the Conway to Altoona pool, so I don't go the whole way. No, I live about an hour and a half from Conway. So I have I have a long commute. <laughs> should align me in here at least yep that's good that's good that's good that's good All right, well yeah that's good okay there's one bad one up here which I'll take care of the closer I get to it yeah so I'm gonna pull pull in here cut away run this engine around grab this engine shuffle them out here real quick get the right engine on the right side and then I'm out of here calling it a night Conway East. Conway East. There's all the... Pierre 49, 812, locomotive 183. Track 1, A approach 285. There's all the uh, NYSW stuff. We use a couple of... Uh, Correction, 284 out. GP40s for that, because yellow and yellow kind of go together, so... <laughs> for NYSW stuff. Forty nine, twelve, look, mother one eight three, a approach medium two eighty five, westbound main one. I mean, if you have work experience, you might be all right, but I mean, most most railroads don't expect you to have railroad experience to hire out. I mean, I didn't, most guys don't. I know some guys who've come from other railroads to work, so that's not, you know. I mean, I, I don't see why you couldn't get hired right out of high school. If that's what your concern is, having work experience. There we go, the AI should be reset. Check PO 49 at 12, look mode 183, meet and clear. CP 286, track 1 to 2 to 7 out. I, I, I kind of get, oops, I forgot about this bad switch. I kind of get my rail fanning done at work, I guess. You know, if you're on the job and you're around it all the time, um, that's kind of where I get it. I mean, not to say that I let it detract from my job, but that's, I mean, I'm out there every day, so I kind of get my fill at work. You gotta keep trying flux that's about it I mean it took me almost two years to get hired by the time I started when I left school I remember telling my parents that I didn't want to work I didn't want to go to school anymore I wanted to uh, I wanted to work on the railroad that's what I told them and then I ended up working at Target for like two years and putting in applications and stuff so you, you gotta all you can do is try you just gotta keep putting them in
Hey, I that thing about the GNW, that's like I went to an open hiring session at for Shire Oaks one year and they were hiring like 10 conductors or something, like 200 some people showed up. That sucked. All them people showing up. Didn't stand a chance. I grew up liking trains. I, I tell people I've always wanted to be a, a conductor since I was a fetus because this just that's just how it how it was. My dad liked trains and, and he got me into it like right away and so I think I've always wanted to do it deep down. I've always wanted to and sessions for Conway West and they couldn't hire anybody. There's a funny story about that, Dave, if you're referencing, you know, I worked with a guy and we got talking about being a boff and this and that, you know, and, and you know, I says, oh, you know, I used to run around and do this and that when I was a kid and, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And, and he stops me. He says, wait a minute, wait a minute. He says, you're the Maidsville foamer. And I knew the second he said it what he was talking about, but I played dumb with it. And I says, I, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he says, he says, you're that, you're that kid. You're that kid that drove that white car and sat down at Grantville. And then you would follow the train all the way down and you rode right alongside of us. And you went down that crossing and you stood channel. there and you watched us. And then that was it. And I was like, show up. Hey. Better late than never. Did you have a crowd here or no? Uh, you have a little decent crowd. Yeah, what, what do we have, Harrison? Maybe six or seven guys at one point? Yeah, it was not too big, but yeah, about six or seven. Yeah, not bad for just pulling something out of thin air for Mohawk. Yeah, I wish that round was longer. I feel like Chris just as I'm sinking my teeth into that round, it's over. Sticking your teeth into what? That route, it's over. Oh, yeah. I'll bring that switch. Because it's not real long. Do you play, uh, do you play trains at all, Jason? No, just, uh, just, uh, Train Sim World 2. Somebody came out with the uh, CSX Mountain Sub, uh, all oh, wow. like Gra uh, Grafton to Cumberland. Yeah, right. Or up, up and over Cranberry, uh, you know, Cheat River Grade, 17 Mile, everywhere, the whole thing. Salisbury. No, not no the Mountain Sub, not not Salisbury. Oh, oh, you're talking about the. Uh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about 17 Mile Grade. Yeah, that. Yep. I watched a guy did a route tour of it. It looks pretty good. I wish they ran more on there. It's almost completely dead. Well, it's actually picked back up because now they're running all the loaded trains over uh, over that. Okay. 
Then what do they do? They change directions there and go over the go over the sand patch or what? No, they go they come loaded, um oh shoot. They come loaded um uh up out of the Mon Valley and then they go to Grafton and then they DP them down there. They did away with the helpers. It used to have an eighty car loaded restriction that was as large as the train could be. And then um uh, and then there were helpers. Well, now they done away with the helpers. Everything's DP'd now. They're but they're running all the loaded coal trains up over um, uh, up over that route now, all the way to Gr Cumberland. Well, that's not the B and the B and O, is it, Chris? The B and O is a hiking trail now, right? No, that's that's the B and O. That's their original route over the uh, well, Alleghenies. No, it, it is then. Yep. Them, but then don't go some back way to get down to you. Well, to get to me, they go up. They go up the Mon River, but the original route went west from well, went west from Gl Grafton to Clarksburg. And then to Wheeling. Uh, yeah, I, th yep, I think and then to, yeah to part well yeah, and, and yeah, then to Wheeling. Yeah, well, that was the part. If I'm thinking right, that's the Parkersburg branch. That was like Correct. the main line to St. Louis. I mean, right, exactly. Hot. hot um, Hot trailer jets and stuff like that. Passenger trains. Yeah, yeah, that was huge. Yep. Yep. And then CSX ripped it all out. Now you go, you go to um, oh god, um, is it Martinsville on the Ohio River? Oh yeah, Martinsville. That's, yeah, I know exactly where you're at. Toward Russell and all that. Yeah, so that's that follows Route 50 all the way across the state. I think I think that was a B&O branch. Yeah, that was that wasn't the main line though. No. I know the main line's a hiking trail because I've seen pictures of it. Yeah, it's 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 gone. It's all gone. That coal was coming out of our mountain by a short line. It was no longer CSX up there at Grafton. I think it's already coming though. No, no, the A and O, Appalachian yeah, Ohio. Uh, App Appalachian Ohio. That's it. Yeah. I knew I knew it was somebody different, but anyway, they've been taking that out for a while. Yeah, a buddy of mine just got hired up there a little bit ago, but I, I guess it's it's still doing pretty good, from my understanding. Well, if you look at the map, it splits like three different ways there, and there's breakers on every single one of those branches. Yeah, it's still it's still relatively busy, and then you've got the West. They connect to the West Virginia Central, and they're still doing a little bit of freight business in addition to their passenger business. I would like to have gone back in the day and watched those Alpha jets come through Connellsville to get on the. To get on the Wheeling and Lake Erie. Yeah. Oh. I, I can't believe that Wheeling Lake Erie ran ran out the jets, but that was the train, and I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. Yep. Connellsville's, Connellsville's where they got on the Wheeling and Lake Erie, and they went on that all the way to the Nickel Plate, and then the Nickel Plate to Chicago. Mtrak 49A approach. 290 up. You look at that whole situation, and you wonder what might have come of all that, what might have been, you know? Well, to run a to run a trailer train that involves five or six different railroads, Chris, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, and they, they all did it fairly well. It wasn't just the trailer trains; it was those grain trains, and they ran all yeah, kinds of stuff I up forgot, there. Yeah, forgot all about those grain trains. That's when they leased those wheel and the Lake Erie SD forty dash tubes. Remember that? Yep. Yeah, it could have been it could have been something amazing if you know. Black old Erie Lackawanna and Western Brown, if that had all gone a different way with the NW and all that, it could have been something different. What's funny, how many times Conrail was supposed to be and it just never happened? Yep. They talked about Conrail for years, Chris. But I think that Conrail was the most successful river there ever was to to go from a government ordinance to a completely public entity. That's, a, that's crazy. That's about the only thing the government ever did that actually worked. Yeah, right. Well, that and rare retirement. <laughs> yeah, that too. Amtrak 49-183 Robin Syracuse Station on sub out. You got a cold, Jason, or you just got to keep it down? Unzal is trying to go to sleep right beside me here. There's a door in the way, but it's not that loud. Ah, okay. The door to, to my office is off the bedroom, so yeah, I can't talk real loud, but you should be able to hear me. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I just I, I can just tell you're quieter than normal. Got this mic slammed up against my face, and she claims <laughs> she can't hear me, so. Mm. Which is pretty, pretty weird, so yeah, I'm pretty loud. Roger that. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a little famous, Chris. We had a new member 
said he's been listening to your streams for years, and uh, he's always wanted to, to talk to me on TeamSpeak. He says you're kind of a celebrity when it comes to when it comes to some of those YouTube things that Chris did. And I said, really? And he said, yeah. When you come on, it kind of spices the whole party up. <laughs> <laughs> he actually gave me a compliment like that. I thought it was crazy, Chris. He, there's like he said, there's actually like five or six people that really want to hear you on TeamSpeak, and uh, we think you're a pretty cool dude. I'm going, it's pretty like cool. Well, you're with another celebrity there too. Harrison was getting his props in the chat earlier. Yeah, I never, I never would have thought that, Chris. You and me both, Jason. When Chris was telling me I had some fans in his chat, I'm like, really? And they were like, yeah. What's going on with this engine here? Oh, I gotta click him. I can't see the buttons on the rail driver. There we go. Why's the PCS open? I don't have time to deal with that. <laughs> I think that Conrail session, Chris, got quite a bit of uh, viewer participation. I think that's where a lot of that came from. That's exactly where that came from, because you're on there, yep. and I asked you, hey, does this thing work uh, to wit? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta talk to Mike up there, though, because it's a clusterfuck out there. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I don't hold back there, Chris. And the best part was that was like three and a half hours into it. So, like, you, you know, you go on that whole time without swearing, which was, you know, like I said in the stream, it was pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, you actually said it in the stream. Yeah, I, caught, I told you it was impressive that you'd go on that long without swearing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I, 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 can see, I can see how you're getting a reputation, yeah. Remember that day that I was trying to do something on the call board and you, you, you and Mark Banner tested me and I went right through it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you went right through it. You said, you said, you said that Mark, you said, I'm not going to stop. You just couldn't stop me through it. Like six things at once. I'm going, the last thing I need is this fucking banner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I want that. Oh, I gotta do that. Put them together. Like you can hear me not jump, and there's gonna be you said, Chris. There's no way I was gonna stop. Right through it. <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> I do. I do. I remember that. Too. <laughs> okay, now it should be all. You don't even knock it the fuck off. <laughs> Good time. Good time. There we go. This one get it back in the clear. That back end stuff, guys. It is. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. Let me do a quick. Uh, it's my mic said you can never run a train if you're gonna be the chief honcho. Then you gotta do the work. Thinking, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. Did I ever tell you the interchange track that my uncle's round the robin club had, Chris? No. Each model railroad, there was about nine of them, and they did a round the rob hell. Monday nights, it was called the Monday Night Group. Each one of them had an interchange where they could put um, cars in a box and take them to the next person's railroad. And then they would interchange with them and give them the interchange cars, and they would then become part of his until they were interchanged back. It was really cool. That is a neat concept. Yeah, I thought so too. I got to shut these all down. Handbrakes are on. We're on the real thing? Yeah. I was on vacation for about a week and a half, but as far as I know, they haven't shut the terminal down yet. And where'd you go, North Carolina? Yeah, the Outer Banks. That's what I thought. I, I, want, I want to go. It's on my list. Soaking up the sun in OBX. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good time. It was nice to get away for a little bit. Yeah, I've seen your pictures. They were amazing. Mark sent you the pictures of his uh, 39G. Is it the I'm one? breaking the knuckle. Yeah, the hey. knuckle. Tore the knuckle right out of the fucker. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the classic run eight move there? He said it was 11K and like 50... I forget what the tonnage was. Hold on a second. He did tell me. 
He didn't tell us that part. He just sent the pictures. And he told me what the what the tonnage was here. A whole no DPU. I think he said too. It was conventional. Oh jeez. It was conventional. Fifteen k was the train, so it had to have a DPU. No, fifteen k tons. Holy shit! It was fifteen thousand tons. Yeah, that's about right for those. Eleven thousand feet. Yeah, that sounds about. That's why I'm not surprised. It's, it's that sounds about right. Good lord! But I said, Dan, if you ever want to see what the inside of well, not even the inside of a knuckle, because he, like, part of it's still in there. That pin he has to take out. See, that's what these people don't realize. It's Chris, if you get stuck in the middle of nowhere and you break a knuckle. You gotta walk that fucker the whole way down the end of the train and put it on. Yup, all the way down there. Exactly. You know, it, it, it's funny, you talk about the swearing for years. You know, I went to school to be a pastor, you guys know that, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, I went to school to be a pastor. <laughs> so for years I didn't swear. And then I, I went to work Firestone, and I was there about, oh, I don't know, two weeks. And this guy, Anthony, says, Jason, I noticed you don't swear much. Are you religious? And I said, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really on the best of speaking terms with him right now. But I said, yeah, I, I, that's what I went to school for. And he said, well, uh, that's not going to work here. You're going to swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so this is the assistant manager telling me that I have to learn how to cuss because he said, they're not going to listen to you. He said, you have to sell for them, and you got to come down to their level. And that involves saying fuck, and fuck a lot. And so here we go. <laughs> oh, I, was yeah. there, I was there six months, Chris, and I was a completely different person. That's amazing. Well, I'm going to hop off here, guys. I'm going to try to head for bed, be up in the morning for work. You got the house all to a semi-equalizing place? What's that? You got the house all to a semi-equalizing place, or prepared, or still doing lots of chores, or no? We're all we're all moved in for the most part. Uh, there's still a few boxes here and there we just haven't bothered to open up. Oh, nice! You didn't, you didn't start building the bench work yet, did you? Uh, no, that's on hold for now. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys. See you, Jason. All right, see, see, see you guys. User disconnected from your channel. Disconnected. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. Uh, Peter asks next live stream, what's up next? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be SoCal or A line. I can do a quick tab here. I know Mohawk has been on, has been on the list. Um, so that's why I did this tonight because it's been, it's been a long time coming. Now uh, let's see. So we did before this was the A line, then SoCal, then SoCal, then SoCal. Mohawk, SoCal, A-Line, SoCal, A-Line, SoCal. So we might be leaning toward an A-Line stream. Um, if you caught, if you missed at the top of the show, um, I just picked up, um, oh crap, uh, Dead by Daylight on for sale on Steam, and I kind of got some positive uh, reactions to that. So me talking about. Uh, earlier I mentioned I want to get it and play it because my wife plays it and she loves the game and she got me really into it. So uh, we're going to try to work on maybe some uh, pre-recorded episodes. They may not be live. Maybe we'll do live ones, but we'll see how it goes. And a couple guys approached me and said they like playing it too. So I'm going to see if I can get with some of them. I know Christian uh, 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 Carraro. Carrao. I can't. I'm horrible with last names. I can't believe that. Um <laughs> said he wanted to play too so we're going to try to do that i've also got uh derail valley someone's wants me to do derail valley and i do need to do another derail valley stream and especially since they are working on new um oh hello since they're working on uh, a new version of derail valley and then um thank you peter i appreciate that um so i, I do want to get in some more derail valley and then uh, the Wyoming DLC is out for American Truck Simulator, and I haven't played ATS in f five months, it says here. So, yeah, March 16th. So, yeah, I haven't touched ATS in a while. So, 
Um, I guess maybe I'll end up with Wyoming and try to do that. So I don't know what's coming up next. And hopefully I'm not two months off of my next live stream like I was this time. So, uh, But I don't know what will be next, guys. Uh, it'll be... It'll be something. I'm glad to be back in it now that vacation's over. Kids in school now, and we're all settled at home, so now there won't be these large gaps in it anymore. So, um, But uh, earlier, actually, let me drop real quick. For those of you who missed it before, I had a, a link, an invite link to my Discord, and it's nothing special, but I sometimes will post when I'm doing um, um, streams and stuff like that, so... Um, I'll drop another quick link here for you guys so you guys can check that out in the outro which I'm about to fire up so um, thanks for watching guys I appreciate it uh, glad you stuck around for the five hours um, so uh, have a good night take care stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time